Yo ho hello! Welcome aboard, Skellywags! It's Monday, and I can stream today after all, so that's what I'm gonna do. Let's do some 13 Sentinels, eh? How are you doing, Scuttle? Ready for some gaming? Oh, good, good. Well, I've got a terrible joke for you to start things off. How's this one? How did the pirate captain know that his ship was about to be attacked? He could hear the boat cracking. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Okay. Then let's get back into it. Hello! Here we go. So. Judging by the percentages at the bottom, I'd say we're about three quarters through the game. Somewhere around 36 hours in. Which means another 12 hours. Which I think means we can beat it. We could do that in about three streams. Two, two long streams. Well, today won't be super long, so... Three streams should do it. Well, let's start things off with some analysis. Uh, we can go into the mystery archives. Um, what's new here? I'll try to make this quick so we can get back into the action. Um, parents she knows aren't her biological family. Orimura was transplanting her own memories into Fuyusaka, but due to 426's influence, her memories are perceived as a hazy dream. Okay. So, with Morimura and some others, they've they've been doing the the body hopping from failed timeline to timeline. But something happened to 426 after he either went while he was imprisoned or after he escaped and his plans don't seem to be based on destruction or murder anymore. Orimura wants Project Aegis but when the kaiju appeared in 1985, yeah, we saw the end of hers there. Okay. Ryoko was a big sister to Sekigahara. Um, so he wants her to be happy. They grew up in 2064 together. Goto. After seeing Morimura's logs in the mainframe, Goto visits the Karabe house in 1945 to abduct her clone Chihiro and restore... Right, so he was sus of Morimura after the infection incident and downloaded a, a backup copy, a previous version of Chihiro put into Child Chihiro. Natsuno Minami is Yuki Takamiya's daughter in the future past, the days of future past, dating Miura. Shikishima's top figure was Nenji Ogata. A hundred and seventeen planets were being considered, and the top prospect is a system twelve light years ahead. The ship will only carry their DNA. They're planning for a population of six million people. But it was rejected. Yeah, and I had the question of what if. They never left the Earth system, and they colonized a destroyed Earth. 
Uh, after shifting to 1985, Miura... Right! No. Miura is from 1945, but his younger sister... Or no, can't say that for sure, but his younger sister was transplanted there for sure. She was brought there from her original time of around... No, 2105, Sector 1. Um... Yeah, he enjoyed the hamburger. Yep. And Giogata was the original holder of the decode key, but Minami currently has it, and we don't know why. The strange dreams that Amaguchi has been seeing were actually the past experiences of Tetsuya Ida, who looks near identical to him. Uh, in order to protect Project Ark, the idol expressed that she wants to learn his thoughts. And my hypothesis is Miyuki Inaba is the voice of, um, What, what's the word for it? Not not mission control, not central... central something. Um... Yuki Takamiya... Okay... It's not really important. Um... Shinonome discovers Ida's true feelings and motive from watching surveillance footage and, and realizing that he's only attached to Kisaragi, she loses her patience. Oh, that's when I was like, oh, Ida. Couldn't be Ida. When did that happen? Um, Ryoko. She's crushing on him. She's reunited in the past. She's working for him. Trying to hunt down A because she thinks he's 426. They escape from the Universal Control. That's the name. Um. Yuiko disappeared. She's coy around Yuki. Um. She's opposed to anybody else getting close. Then, Yuki shows up, showing Ryoko the projection of herself. And then... Uh... And then... Okay, 426 is on the run. She... A memory of her... So in Ogata's mind, he encounters her, and she tells him the things. Okay. So she... She has the encounter with the device, but she's struggling with the pills and her duties. But then here, she randomly is investigating and checks the surveillance footage. And then she shows up with Ida and Yuki when Shu summons his sentinel. And then right after they go get back to the 80s, she shoots him. 
and then that's when her story kind of begins. Everything else so far was memories. But she's just kind of too drugged to remember too much. She's just kind of on the run. Okay, um... Right, so then back to here. In order to prevent the kaiju from destroying the world, Okino is searching for whoever is sending the decode. Yeah. Um... He detached his own... decode. And now he's after Minami. According to Nenji Ogata, Aiba's been absent from school. Yep, it was just 426 taking over to Mao's AI android. Uh. And 426 is trying to get all of the 15 ready for the game that will soon begin by. Getting them ready to pilot the Sentinels? In 1945, Tamao exhausts herself and disappears. She's not truly dead, she remains under life support inside her pod. Huh, don't remember getting that info. Once Tamao hears from. Uh, the professor's daughter, that her parents aren't her real ones, and that she was brought here from the future, she can't help but sense it's the truth. Chihiro Morimura's clone, created from the compatibility experiment. Huh. Upon birth, her original memories were sealed by Morimura, she lived a normal life as Miura's little sister. But once Goto found some logs, he abducted her and awakened Morimura's sealed memories. In order to become compatible, she tried to overwrite her memories and personality into Fuyusaka and take over her body, but gave up on it after hearing a loop was no longer possible. Only Yakushiji can see Fluffy. He's actually 426. Okay. We can start spending mystery points. Shintaro is the real cat. Back when he was a back when Ida was a student, he supported Tomi uh, under a pseudonym. Uh, he's in love with the Kisaragi who 426 killed, he developed androids to try to give her another life. Um, it was believed that Ida died when he stayed behind, but he's actually still alive. Um, he seeked to transplant Kisaragi, but she rejects the idea. And then he's like, oh, well, I should have just been more sneaky about doing it without her knowing. He wanted to uh, reset the world, get a fresh start. But then he was shot. I don't care about this guy. He's fallen for Yori Fuyusaka and doggedly seeks a relationship with her? Yeah, that what he was going for was not a relationship game. Come on. That's not love. Um, okay. 426 is actually Jiro Izumi. He's a replication based off of a memory backup written into Sector Zero. Oops. Zero. How to get... Download memories. How to get into the production line of the Deimos code. Huh. 
he escaped confinement through transferring his own data into an android. When the Tamau android was being used, Sekigaharo discovered the true identity and destroyed it. Um, but soon after, Jurokurabe passed by and 426 hopped into his nano machines. Eizo Onishi is the police guy, uh, and he's worried about Yuki. Um, as a kind of... What's the word? Not... Uh, surrogate father in a distant way. Professor Doji suspects that Okino, who gave refuge to Sekigahara, is a spy. He tries to get the military to capture him. Hmm, I wonder if Doji is someone we know, because we haven't seen him yet. Primary shifter is underground, uh, but the gates connect to it from afar. Gates are available because Morimura brought them online. Gate in the mainframe can't be controlled without the biometric ID of a compatible individual. Right, like Fuyusaka. Whoops, uh, policeman. Okay. Kisaragi android. Developed. A Kisaragi put in it. But then, uh, 426. Jumped out, swapped. After being destroyed, Juru Izumi hid it in a broom cupboard, but then it was found. Okay. No, sorry, the Tamau android was found. Okay. Magical gun. Seals the power of witches. Those who get shot are forced into a game of survival. Yeah. Communication device. This headgear was for looking in memories. They used it on Ogata, used it on Hijiami. And Sekigahara used the device to extract his memories and store them on his own nanomachines. I only have 20 more mystery points to spend? No, I've got 85, dude. I'm good. I am rolling in mystery points. The ampool. Right, that's how Morimura was implanting her memories. Automated factory. Uh, yes. Future stuff. The inner lositers was the memory tech that was controversial even in its time. And now they're using it willy nilly because there may only be like 15 surviving people. Uh, Terminal's self-defense system. Kaiju can't invade a specific range around it after the two minutes it takes to activate. The Dimos code is the code that summons the Dimos. It's broadcasted by someone who is the commander. The compatible. The 15 compatible. Have the capacity to control gates, sentinels, and the mainframe. Morimura wanted to transfer her compatibility into a clone, so she used both her data and her DNA, but it failed to establish it. The control key is a program code. Okay, so there's the Dimos code. Then there's the control key. Hmm. I 
I they they feel like they it, they do similar things, but maybe the control key is more specific than the Dimos code. Sentinels were ready for use after the 2104 Kaiju invasion, but the first time they were actually used was the 2064 battle when there was the infection incident. Um, and at that time, I think only first and second gen had been built. And then third gen and fourth gen were developed since then. Oh, no, maybe the third gen was used in the Battle of 2025, but uh, the final battle is the first time the fourth gen is getting used. Okay. Um, Multi-rocket launchers. Dimos is the generic name for the kaiju. There are many types. Okay. When the kaiju come down, they descend in a plume of atmospheric fire like meteorites. But they have a slow falling speed. Okay. All the kaiju types. Yep. The science room has got a gate. Yep, yep. There's the passageway. Old school building. With some history there. Okay, the athletics building. The park. Downtown. Sumeria Bridge. Cool. Houses a giant infrastructural control system called Universal Control. A giant disc shaped structure with a diameter of 30 kilometers. The center device is used to. yeah, okay. Gas explosion. This was when Juro Karabe accidentally summoned a sentinel by touching Miura's forehead. Karabe unwittingly transmitted a giant robot into his favorite video store. But it was covered up as a gas leak. And Okino added a feature that copies over the force activation code to whoever comes into contact with Miura. Oh. The dream about rebels trying to bomb a development system in order to stop the Dimos from being created. But it was a memory. Okay, the fire was actually the android battle. Kaiju invasion. Uh, number 15, piloted by Seki Gahara, shut down the systems of all Sentinels, causing the front line to collapse. So they retreated by uh, being transmitted to random sectors. Ida stayed behind using a remote control Sentinel. Okay, 2025 was also lost after Karabe was pushed to his limits. Um, okay. Juro's nightmare of Polina 
Order 66. And then Fuyusaka stops him. Or Morimura, rather. Ankara. Oh, so, some history. In the latter half of the Meiji era, Western culture was considered more acceptable as Haikara, the cultural adoption of Western fashions. The term Haikara was made popular by journalists derived from high collar. To counter this movement, Ankara was born out of a desire for goodness within something not determined by outward appearances. Bankara came from twisting of Haikara, which meant holding on to a crude outer appearance while seeking spiritual nobility, integrity, and greatness on the inside. Huh. Okay, dog face. Three laws of robotics, hot dogs, Ikuman meat buns, yakitori, canned soda. Okay. More canned soda, UFO mysteries, the show, or the worlds. School uniforms, school bags, PE bags... The documents in the nurse's office. Okay... Yeah, just notes about their states. Ryoko, Shu, and Juro. So Ryoko, they were trying to delay her nanomachine separation. Genuinely help her. Shu is trying to get memory transplants of Ida. And Juro was trying to get transplants of Izumi. But something 426 was... Or no, Morimura... Shouldn't there have also been information on Fuyusaka? Yeah, I don't know. No? What's no? Uh, what was that a reaction to? Daimos, League of Darkness, Shikishima, Minami got a cheek scar when Tamao's android shot her in the face. She doesn't remember it much. Right as she was about to shoot Minami, Mouse Android said those monsters, the ones that destroyed the city, they have a new commander, and it's you, so starting now, I'll be the one giving you your orders. When did that happen? I don't remember Tamao saying that. Oops. Nanami... When was she shot? Huh.
I don't remember. I remember her getting shot. I don't remember Tamao saying that. Huh. Okay. Fancy leather wallet. The numbers in Morimura's pocket. A's. Commands. Who was he taking orders from? Because he... After... After the infection incident, he went to Sector 1. He had the run-in with 426. And then he was kind of chasing after 426 while being chased by Ryoko, trying to make sure she's okay too. And then eventually he was kind of targeting Chihiro. But then, as his memories start to go and he finds out some more things, he he's not really concerned about capturing her, but then he's near her body anyway. Okay. Nami's notebook. Kisaragi's glasses. Karabe house. Aw, that's cute. A bit weird to find out that they're made from DNA of a mother and child, and then they became childhood friends, but still cute. Okay, Goto has a notebook. Then there's the history book that's not changing as the past has changed. Oh, got a lot of mystery files that won't be spent. Uh, Sekigahara. Yeah, he's chasing after. He's on the run from black suits. He has the run-ins with Fuyusaka. But then... Where did those orders come from? Who... who was he in contact with that was telling him to do stuff? I don't know. Okay. Remembrance time! We have unlocked... Uh... One, two... Three... Four... Well, well. Five... Five... Six... Of them. Okay. And then, it seems like a lot of people then are locked behind Minami or Juro, so let's do those two first today. Right. Okay, so last time... We've just been trying to figure out the truth as Shiba is messing with us. We go out to the hallway, think about Okino, something else might happen. Fuyusaka-san and I were the only ones who made it. We escaped to Sumire Bridge 16 years into the past. These must be Shibakun's memories. Or rather, the other Juro Izumis. Right. So he didn't get Shiba until the run-in with the Tamao android. That dream was...
was awful. I was going around killing students. I shot so many, like Fuyusaka-san and Yakushiji. If that was a real memory, does that mean I actually did all that? Minami-san suddenly showed up at my and then brought over me. Yep, yep. Okay. In my to and, and the I remember all I this well. Them. Nothing so new there. As Shinonome Senpai told me earlier, there's a second Juro Izumi from another world. He transferred his consciousness into an android, so that must have been what I saw. But still, why did it look just like my grandma when she was younger? That guy, in my dream, he called himself Tsukasa Okino. I feel like we've met somewhere before. Hey Juro, let's go home. Okay, nobody to eavesdrop on. Can't grab my bag yet. What? What? Have another nightmare? Knock it off. Okay. I'm not stupid. I know I'm the only one who can see. Yep. Can I run away now? Nope. So, let me get this straight. Juro Izumi came from the future. He lost his memories due and the damp. Gotta be facing you. Tell me the truth. This isn't about my lost memories, is it? You're not trying to restore them. You're giving me someone else's. What are you talking about? They're Juro's memories. In other words, yours, the other Juro Izumi. <sighs> you know, this one's three times older than you. I remember now. You live in Sat that day at the shrine. You jumped out of that robot and possessed me. Yeah. Do you think I am a ghost? I had nowhere else to go. If it were up to me, I would have picked a more welcoming host. You know, we can't have you causing a scene here. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Yeah, and then he gets really threatening. Time. I won't let you do it. Let's grab my bag. Head out to the hallway. Okay. And then... Something about... Is she really on my side? She wants to change me back into Juro Izumi. Can I trust her? But not that Juro Izumi. The, the Juro Izumi of... 2065 of this timeline. Of this world. No? Hmm. <gasps> Chihiro Morimura. That's right. She's the one I saw in my dream. Excuse me. Did he only just put that together? I feel like they've interacted briefly in the nurse's office. Um Is something wrong? You look pale. Tell me the truth. I'm actually Juro Izumi, aren't I? The way I am now is something you created. What's this all of a sudden? I get it now. The woman who keeps showing up in my dreams. The one I saw on Sumire Bridge. It's not Fuyusaka-san. It's you. Chihiro Morimura. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Have you been aware this whole time that Shibakun was inside of me? Yeah, does she know that 426 hopped in? Or rather... Juro Izumi was. <gasps> you talk too much. You think you can just walk in here and screw everything up? I'm not afraid to shut your mouth. <laughs> Kurabe kun? Well, she didn't have much of a reaction. If the woman from my dream is actually our teacher, then Tsukasa Okino must be real too. <sighs> Where have I seen him before? Um. 
the break area. That's right. There was a guy standing by the vending machines earlier. He looked just like Tsukasa Okino. That's where we've seen him. Hey, do you have a minute? Huh? Hello? Uh, hey, wait! Okino-kun! Uh. Uh, you're Tsukasa Okino, right? You must be mistaken. You even sound like him. You were in that UFO with Juro Izumi, right? You're not making any sense. Sorry, but I don't have time for this. Huh. If you'll excuse me. Wait! The UFO wasn't the only time. I know I've met you somewhere else. Oh? That's right. I remember now. One loop ago. Faith forward. Wait. The drug has been administered. I thought the, the prism was just back. a data thing. Do not be alarmed. It is safe to enter. He was actually imprisoned. Prisoner E four two six. Look up while we're speaking to you. Or would you rather bear the brunt of the electric chair? So this man's the culprit? He's a murderer. He bombed Shikishima, killing countless people. We managed to catch him, but his identity is still unknown. Furthermore, his testimony makes no sense. That's why I've requested your assistance. The name's Onishi. I'm in charge of this investigation. I appreciate your help. Onishi. Mr. Tsukasa Okino. <laughs> Tsukasa-kun. Take a good look at him. Do you know this man? No. I'm afraid I've never seen him before. All right, then. Your biometrics lead me to believe you're being honest with us. Why did you bring me here? Well, we used a truth serum on the guy. He started saying your name over and over. He also mentioned a student by the name of Chihiro Morimura. This is her photo. Do you recognize her? No. We'll be requesting her cooperation soon enough, but it'll have to wait until next week. She's currently out of the country. In any case, thank you for joining us today. I may ask for your presence again if any new info turns up. Of course. You are free to go. Follow the signs back to the waiting room. <sighs> Do not be alarmed. The perp cannot fight back. <gasps> Mr. Juro Izumi, take a good look at him. Do you know this man? Huh. How would I? What? All I know is, he's a terrorist bomber. Well, we took a look at your DNA. The two of you are a perfect match. It was quite a surprise. What? Right. Because, even though, even though it happened one loop, one loop ago, there must have been another Juroizumi, because that 426 and Morimura came from the loop before that, when Sector... One or zero was under attack, uh, and they were in the UFO with Okino. Only the two of them were able to get out. There's a distinct possibility. But we haven't seen much of this Juro. That one of you is a clone. That's ridiculous. What does he have to say about it? According to his testimony, he is in fact you from the future. As for his motive, he claims he had to commit this crime to prevent the emergence of Kaiju. Kaiju? Huh? Excuse me for a moment. What is it? We're in the middle of an investigation. You got a hot, hot mic there. Oh, he turned it off. An evacuation oh, never mind. 
It's on the news? <sighs> Turns out there is some kaiju appearing. Golly gee. <laughs> if only somebody could have prevented this. Huh. Looks like he's awake. Perfect. I'm almost done. What's going on? Okay, so he walks up to a kid at a vending machine. He's like, I know I've seen you before. Now, where did I see you? It has a flashback, and in the middle of the flashback, this guy knocks him out, kidnaps him, and brings him to be like, I want to have a look at that flashback too! <laughs> I'm gonna just plug you in! Hey, what is this? Calm down, please. High blood pressure generates noise in the scan. Tsukasa Okino? I remember now. I was attacked out of nowhere. Sorry about that. It was the only way. This isn't the most welcoming place, is it? I can't imagine you would have come willingly. You might have. Yes, good. Keep your mind calm. You're Tsukasa Okino. Uh, I saw you in my dream and... You got left behind. That would have been a different Okino. I knew there was something odd about you. But that dream of yours is even more surprising than I expected. Juro Izumi. Shifting in cycles. There's only one person those memories could have come from. I'm glad I looked into this. To think he'd seek refuge within Juro himself. Do you know him? We call him 426. As of now, he exists as sheer consciousness. That is to say, he lives in your injected nano machines. At some point, he got in and took over the system area. Go ahead and ask him yourself. Ugh. Wait. Hijiyama can see him? Shippuku. So this is the guy. He's not quite what I imagined. Don't be deceived. Why can Hijiyama see him? He can alter his appearance however he pleases. You guys can see him? Why? Why? He's under my control now. He can't hurt you anymore. Ah. Uh. Jeez, Juro. Why you gotta be so obtuse? Tell us the purpose of your disguise. He's trying to take over my mind. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not the one who wanted that. Shihiro Morimura is. Uh -huh. Our teacher? She wanted to transplant my memory backups into you. Whatever she could do to match your personality with mine. But Tamao Kurabe didn't like the idea. She created a new personality. Tamao Kurabe didn't like the idea. The one you have now. Tamao is the one who created Kurabe. Huh. But you were using videotapes to alter my memories. Yeah, well, the backups weren't meshing with your simulated personality. You almost had a breakdown, man. So I decided to turn him into something a little more concrete. Something your current self would understand. Okay. You should thank me for saving your ass. Somehow I find that hard to believe. Why did you try to help me? Well, if Morimura's plan did work out, there'd just be another copy of me running around. Besides, I don't want to be left watching over your unstable mess. I won't tolerate being used any longer. I'm sick of it. 426. For better or worse, she's given up on the Sentinel Project. Oh. Her interest in Juro Karabe has waned. Yeah, she, she seemed pretty apathetic when I told her 426 was in my brain. But the Sentinel Project is the only option we have. Wrong. Sentinels can't save us alone. Then what can? Aegis. You're talking as if you know the answer. I do. 
I found an effective means for our survival. Would you like to hear it? Uh, yes, please. What we call the UFO. I know who programmed it. It was a certain someone named Tsukasa Okino, back in 2188. 2188? That explains why Okino was able to get so far in when they dis his a different Okino discovered it in 2105. It's hard to believe from looking at you now, but he was quite the sloppy programmer. <laughs> when he designed the environment management system, he borrowed a portion of it from something else. That particular portion contains the D code. It's what's summoning the kaiju. That part of the code was never supposed to be accessed. Well, well, it was. Where was this code reused from? It was a little outdated, even for its time. But it's a little sim game based on Mighty Kaiju Daimos. The Daimos game? You're telling me a video game has control over the automated factories? Huh. That's how the Kaiju are being produced? Where do you think the name Daimos came from? It's not a coincidence, you know. Up until now, we've been forced to play a game we can't win. But just imagine. What if we gained access to the greater system? We've had limited control over it so far. If we fix that, we'll be able to fight on an equal playing field. Think about it. Each time we destroy an enemy, we'll get some kind of meta prize. Like scoring points. With those, we can use the automated factories to strengthen our sentinels. Points, huh? Let's just call them meta chips for now. Hmm. Okay. I still can't trust so you. So things are clearly going according to 426's plan. But... Does he really... Does he... Does he really believe that this plan will lead to victory? Or is he just trying to frame it in a way that will give others hope in it, even though he believes that it's actually doomed to fail and he wants he wants everything over and done with for good fine leave what you want i don't need your help anymore sorry for wasting your time do you have any proof of your claims uh there was a log on it it's gone <sighs> you're putting the fate of humankind's last colony in a video game that's it Kijiyama. Huh? You saw the log, didn't you? Hey, Giyama kun When did you see that log? What was that log all about? You want to find out? Go help that idol who's stuck in orbit. <sighs> well, it's about that time. I need to get going. What? Don't worry. He can't do a thing. Maybe. But a guy like him probably planned ahead. Oh, give the boy a prize. You can be surprisingly sharp at times, Hijiyama. Oh, there it is. Sorry. You're... Juro! Thank goodness, I made it in time. Yeah, thanks to me talking their ears off. Did you walk through Tar to get here? Right, the contingency was fluffy. That's how he planned ahead. I'm doing exactly as you told me, foul-mouthed cat. Did you say cat? Don't worry about erasing his memory. What? But then... What are you talking about? Let's go. Relax. I won't erase your memories either. So it's her. She's the one who's been cooperating with him. Hmm. Sector 4. 2188. Hijiyama, respond please. I need you to open it. Oh, is this the log Hijiyama saw? Can you hear me? Loud and clear, Yakushiji. Hijiyama, open the B2 airlock. I'm afraid I can't do that. <sighs> You're well aware of the reason. We're not infected. 
detected. The vitals detected by your suit tell me otherwise. Ah. Uh. I'm so sorry, Yakushichi. Fine, I may be infected, but my daughter isn't. Please check her. It's true, she's not showing any signs of infection just yet. So you'll let her in, right? Please! Unfortunately, she is likely still in the incubation period. Just save my daughter, I'm begging you! <sighs> it's not a risk we can afford to take. You and I, we're comrades, aren't we? We've been to hell and back together. If it's the last thing I ask of you, please, Ichiyama. I'm sorry, Yakushiji. You must understand. <laughs> Ichiyama, halfway through to airlock control. Ah. Uh. Major Izumi. <laughs> Izumi son, I had a feeling you would say that. So I've sealed the airlock on my end. I can't allow you to infect this colony. Don't jump to conclusions. I'm the one getting out. Huh. I'll grab a shuttle and retrieve his daughter. We'll give it 24 hours. If she does turn out to be infected, then we'll never return. Simple as that. <sighs> I can't accept this. It's an order, Hitiyama. Sorry, Yakushiji. You're going to have to leave your daughter with me. In the meantime, you'll need to return to the pod you came here in. Are you alright with that? I entrust you with her life. My daughter. My Megumi. I'll protect her at all costs. I promise. Huh. No matter what happens, I intend to fulfill that promise. Okay. Just as you said, a kaiju attacked, like in that movie. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. What was the infection? That log from 2188. I get it now. That must have been an important memory of yours. Yeah. But it wasn't you. It was... You you would have found that mem that log same as me. The log itself may be gone, but I do remember what it was about. And as long as you have my memories, I don't need to explain a thing, do I? Are you really okay with this? Of course not. I want in on the action too. And yet you're entrusting it all to me. Even though they kind of turned you into a sissy, in the end, you're still Juro, just like me. I've accepted it. We've all got to play with the hands we're dealt. Fuyusaka's not going to be able to handle him alone. Go for it, Juro. What's going to happen to you? Piloting a Sentinel takes a hell of a lot of brain power. If your nano machines are focused on that, there won't be much processing power left. In other words, I won't be able to talk to you anymore. But you've got my memories, right? You know what needs to be done. The rest is up to you. You're right. I'll do it. I guess I'll be going then. Right. Put your game face on, Juro. We've taken turns for the last time. Try not to get a game over. But it's video games that got us into this whole mess. Hmm, should I? I don't really feel like it. Well, maybe I'll go the other way home. Ah, I forgot. I don't know how to walk downstairs. Well, might as well then. Yeah, 426, in this loop, he's still... He's like an emotionally manipulative and controlling bastard, but he does seem to have good interests at heart. So... 
Okay. Third area has been unlocked. We have cleared Juro. We've unlocked yes. Megami. Okay, then let's do Minami missing Minami missing memory. Minami closed world. Yeah, let's do Minami. Um So last we saw, she last we saw, she was finding out some big truths in the future. Where'd he go? But now she's back in Sector Four. The agents continue to lurk around the school. They gotta be searching for something, and I think I know. I'm almost sure of it. They still think BJ is an alien. Turns out he wasn't an alien. He was actually a futuristic robot made by a Japanese company. There's something else about Sentinel number 17. There are logs from 2188 hidden inside it. If I can find this Sentinel, then I can find out once and for all if these aliens are real. At least for now. I told Miura-kun he should stay at Juro-kun's house. After all, I'm the one who dragged him into this. I need to take responsibility. I mean... Not in a weird way. A small puncture on my cheek. Looks like I got stabbed by a needle. I must have gotten it in the girl's bathroom. But why can't I remember anything about it? Did I... Was I captured and had my memories erased? What if they implanted something in me? Hmm, I'm probably overthinking it. No, nope, you're completely right. I saw a log made by me, but from 2188. In it, I spoke about a project capable of creating humans on another planet. And according to BJ, this is that planet. And we are those creations. But the log alone doesn't leave me entirely convinced. Okay. No sign of BJ. Whoa. There you are. You actually stayed in my locker this time. Wow. You actually stayed hidden this time. <laughs> That's what I said. Uh, how are you doing? BJ, what kind of robot are you anyway? I am an AI. Only integrated into a sentinel. There was an incident. I had to transfer myself into this drone. So when Miura-kun called you a... a piece of sentinel technology, he wasn't wrong then. You mentioned something once, that we're the ones who are aliens. That this is a different planet. I... find that hard to believe. Okay. I understand. <laughs> okay. The sentinel you're searching for. I don't believe you. Okay, that's fine. There's more than one, isn't there? The video logs from 2188. Sentinel number 17's memory cell. It contains all of the logs. Now that I've seen one, I need to know the truth. So I'm gonna be tagging along. At least until I get a good answer. Got it? Yeah, you know. Well, now that that's settled, Let's grab my bag. And grab my robot. Now that that's settled. This is certainly no time to be training. He's so cute in there. Let's go find it, little guy. Alright. Uh, wait. If BJ is about to, I'll just crack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, outside the athletics building. Again, Natsuno? I... uh... 
Listen, I'd really appreciate it if... If I didn't tell Senpai? Uh... Okay, no clues about what to do. Yeah. Oh. Who's this? Huh? Uh, hey, where do you think you're going? Skipping training again? Well, the thing is, there's something I really gotta do, so... You first years are such slackers. And now I gotta deal with our track room getting trashed. Uh, maybe a stray cat got in. No. Someone broke the lock in the middle of the night. Oh. I wonder, were those men in black looking for BJ? Here you go with your nonsense again. <laughs> what? What? The out of context, that sounds so interesting. Did the men in black break into our locker room looking for BJ? Um, what did you just say? Uh... Alright. Guess I'll go to the shrine. I wonder if the developers knew. They had to have known, right? It's definitely done as, like, a goof for. We're here. Where to next? Where's left to search? Are we not done with Sector 2 yet? 2065. Number 8 was there, but we couldn't find number 17. Okay. And we searched in Sector 3. We looked in Sector 5. It wasn't there either. So we're going to Sector 1? Sector one. We've searched there already, haven't we? Yeah. That's Where what I thought. Let's go to sector one. You wanna look there again? What year is it in sector one anyways? Twenty one oh five. Twenty one oh five. The twenty second century? Access code approved. Designating sector. Okay. Hopefully we don't run into any robots. This is the only room with the lights on. Hey BJ, you said this place is underground, right? How are things looking up on the surface? Highly contaminated with toxic levels of radiation. Lovely. The environment is still inhospitable for us. Seriously? Even you? So we ended up nuking them? It was the government's last ditch effort after the city was destroyed. I... I... yeah, I guess. There's a chance. And we still couldn't beat it them? It would work. There were too many of them. This underground facility is the last place of refuge. Nowhere else is safe. <sighs> Dang. What have you been looking at this whole time? I'm searching for... memories. Like your own memories? After I ran a self-diagnosis on this drone, I discovered my memories were fragmented and inconsistent. Seventy-two percent of them have been deleted. That's a lot. They've been tampered with twice. Possibly more. Oh, right. Uh, I remember. Or no, would it have been after this? By who? I know. Definitely in the... in the girls' bathroom. By 426. So, in all likelihood, the memory of the Sentinel's location was deleted then. In this facility, is this era's largest quantum computer? If anyone were to store memories here, 
You find something? What's wrong? Someone just shifted to the hangar. They're coming this way. <sighs> what do we do? Who are they? They erased every last trace from the system. We must hide quickly. Wait for me. Who could it be? Sekigahara, Ida, ah, uh, Ida. No. Goto and Chihiro. What do you think? Hard to say. I need more information. This decode is problematic. It attaches to the part of the brain where memories are stored. It must be physically severed to be removed. The damage this procedure does to the brain is lethal. Except with Okino's help. That program. The one that severs the code. Right, DD-426. That's what's infecting the Sentinels. Right, Sentinels. I wasn't aware that control over the automated factories could be partially adjusted. You did well to discover that detail. Okay. She's talking about... I think what 426 was saying, where... They're, by I by hacking into universal control, they can use the factories for, to their advantage to strengthen the Sentinels. It wasn't me. It was Juro Izumi from two loops ago. Oh. Two loops ago. Yeah, four two six. Hmm? Have you forgotten? We've restarted twice since the world ended. I see. The shifting range isn't just limited to residential zones. Sector Zero makes that possible. In any case, we don't have much time. Where did you get all this information from? Yeah. From the computer and the underground UFO. <laughs> UFO, huh? Is that what you've been calling it these days? Well, can we go there? Yes, we can. You are the one who made it possible, after all. Have you really forgotten? In case you couldn't tell, I have a child's brain. The occasional memory lapse is to be expected. Hmm. It might be uh, the compatibility issue. They, the mystery files we're talking about. Maybe this transfer is didn't work out as well as he thought. Now, let's go. What would she make of all that? Was that Chihiro -chan? And Goto Senpai was with her. You saw that too, right, BJ? Right. She would know that as Mira's younger sister. Man, if you didn't stop me, I totally would have jumped out at them. She was dressed like a kindergartner. That was Chihiro Chan, right? Mira kun's little sister? She didn't seem like she was unhappy to be there, and there was something different about her. Goto-senpai was talking to her like she was a scientist. I saw Goto-senpai in the past. I guess he's able to time travel too. Yeah. Hey, VJ? I've located it. It was in the access log's history. My memories really were stored here after all. Really? Oh. Apparently. I predicted all of this. Somehow. Huh. We have a problem. What is it? I'm unable to locate the memory data. I thought you just did. They're stored in the cache somewhere. But they appear to be hidden. Okay. What can we do? Isn't this supposed to be some super strong computer? Can't you do a quick search of it or something? After a preliminary scan of the cache, 9.216 million data units were found. If I were to trace every unit, I'd need about 80 days. Ah. I must have left some kind of hint. Something to identify the data unit. Identify? What do you mean? 
each unit is a three-dimensional construct. Their coordinates consist of two alphabetical letters. BJ. As well as two numerical values. Uh, what was the rest of your name? Met. I just assumed BJ was your name, but maybe. BJ, that's the name you gave me. No, I didn't. You're the one who said it. Yeah, he had some numbers in there too. I have no logs of this exchange. Wait, let me think. Yeah, it was something like BJ seventy seven or something. BJ eleven foot. No. Oh. So, was that it? I was completely off. Oh, right! And? And? Sentinel number 17. I know its location. Okay. So, where is it? Share with the class? altitude of 500 kilometers. Oh. It's up in the sky? Yes. In an artificial satellite orbiting the planet. Oh. Up there what with the idol. Like, in space? I cannot access it from here. Let's go. Where? To space? To the place Renia Goto mentioned. The UFO. The UFO. Okay, okay, okay. Makes sense. That was the missing memory event, so we can resume you. We can resume you. But now, let's keep going with Minami. Hello, Ryoko. Goto-senpai. He can also travel through time. So, who exactly is he? I saw in an accord vi- Yep, 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 yep. This small puncture on my cheek. Why does it glow when I touch it? It's scaring me. Maybe, maybe aliens really did put something in me. Ah. Uh, okay. Are we gonna call a sentinel soon? Huh? You're a second year student. Did you need something from us? <sighs> um At this point, oops. Uh back to all events. Um. Go to Anami. Okay. So she's. Ryoko hmm. It's open. <gasps> Where's BJ? There you are, hiding in the laundry basket, huh? Okay. My back, she must. Wait, was that girl, was she looking for you? It seems likely. You think she's working with the men in black? Her affiliation is unclear. However, her intentions. She wants the logs, doesn't she? Correct. For information on technology and the future. Yeah, she... She 
she's just trying to figure things out, trying to avenge Ida. If BG had to cry, people are starting to suspect me. We gotta hurry and find that sentinel. It's only UFO, right? You said UFO, but it was manufactured in Japan, wasn't it? It is being in heavy control system. <sighs> right. So, where do we find it? The gate. Okay, let's go. That second year could be outside still. Don't worry. If I see her, I'll just sprint right on by. Okay. Understood, game. Sprint on by. I have my orders. Sprint on by, sprint on by. Go, 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 go. Crisis averted. Okay. We're here. Can we go to the UFO within this sector? What's the matter? It is sealed off, just like Sector 5. Oh. So we can't go today? There is an opening in Sector 3. We may be able to go from there. Oh, by traveling to Sector 3 and then climbing Sector down three? into the ravine? It is in 2025. 40 years from now, which means I'll be in my 50s. I'm having mixed feelings. Access code approved. Designating sector. Okay. Whose is that, Ryoko's? We're here? Jeez. This place is falling apart. I guess 2025 got hit pretty hard, too. Uh, there's something on the ground. It's a student ID from my school. Ryoko Shino no Me, yeah. Class 2A. This picture, that's the girl I saw in the track room. How'd this get here? This place is in ruins. But it almost seems like someone's living here. Is the UFO close by? It's 1.7 kilometers away. Hey, don't leave me behind again. We're supposed to stick together. I don't think anyone's living living here. This is just where they stayed when they were stranded Stop for a right bit. She don't know me, senpai? Or no. Was she left behind? Wait, did you time travel too? I've been waiting. I knew you'd be here. This is 426's hideout. Oh. You're working with him, aren't you? Oh, her missing memories. She's. 42 who? The heck are you talking about? I've never been here before in my life. Don't play dumb. Well, this is going I'll well. Later, no Minami. And when I do, you will tell me where he is. But right now, my mission is to take that data unit back with me. Now hand it over. Ryoko, right, she's working with the men in black. You're being used. There's a reason they want you to find me. Oh, this is how she knows to go and check out the future. It's to prevent you all from seeing the logs. And uncovering the truth. I don't care about that. Even the logs about you and Tetsuya Ida? <laughs> Very smart, Miura. You're not taking BJ. Natsuno, don't. Out of my way. Natsuno! Dang. It's freezing. <gasps> uh. 
Wait, where am I again? Uh, oh crap, that's right! PJ! Uh, let me grab my bag. Please. Can I take it with me? BJ! He's not here. BJ! He okay. What a mess. With the way things are, it's looking pretty grim for me. I can't go home. Yeah, you can. Okay. Oh, but now you're locked. All right. Well, you're locked until I do Yuki. Uh, and I couldn't do Yuki until this point. Then it feels like this is the way to do it. Uh, the android broke past Morimura and the others to escape. Got my hay see. Where could she have gone? Forget her. I need to find Nachan. I should check with Sekigahara if there's been any progress. Okay. The box, the old school building. A city in ruins, and this one is back. Okay. Oh, I can and go Kaiba. to the is a robot? Or, more accurately, a criminal by the name of Juro Izumi, who has no physical body of his own. He wanted to do something to me. Something that involved shooting me up with nanomachines. The Kisaragi involved in the bathroom incident, it was really just a robot built to look like her. Then that robot got damaged and was disposed of in the old school building. And now, the robot's brain is in Aiba's body. So that was in the sh Okay. How many days has it been since Nachan went missing? I was told she'd be able to find food, but Okay, so this is the current time when she's stranded in sector three is when she's actually missing. Because before I was wondering Okay. I'm worried about her. But I she came back. The old building. Sekigahara is there. I saw some oh, miss get some he's then let's go. Anyone there? You lele hee hoo. We are here. Oh. Sekigahara, what happened? The nano machine separation inside the brain is progressing. What does that mean? He is in the same condition as Ryoko Shinonome. <sighs> um... Hey... I still have my memory. I just ran out of my pills. Oof. Don't mind me. You were searching for Natsunomi Nami. We've determined her location. She's in Sector 3. What? Miura? It is only speculation. But there is a high probability that she is there. Okay, great! Let's go get her! Oh, wait. Sekigahara. Go without me. I just needed to tell you. Besides, the black suits are only after me now. It'd be bad if they think you're my accomplice. Better to avoid being seen together at all. Oh, did they get what they wanted from... BJ, come over here. What is it? What is this thing? Take it with you. I don't know how to use it. Huh? You'll need it to save Minami. Okay. I need to ask you a favor in return. Miura is carrying a message for me. If I were to ever lose my memory. I need you to show me that message. Okay. And she does follow through with that. Will you be okay by yourself? 
myself is just about all I can handle. I'm sure Shinonome's medicine is in the nurse's office. Miura seems to be in a hurry. Please, go with him. Okay. To Sector 3! Everything's coming together. So, where is Notchon? Oh dear. Great. More of those creepy ass robots. They must have found something. Something? You mean not John? This unit possesses no attack capabilities. It is up to you. I know. I won't fail. It's robot shooting time. Let's go. I'm ready. Lead the way. Pew, pew, pew! They won't come in here, but if I take even one step outside, they'll attack. Do you have any food? Ever since I got here, they just keep on coming. I ate my last can of food yesterday. Uh-oh. And now the soda I was taking sips from is empty, too. Oh, what should I do? Am I going to die here? Without anyone knowing? I hope you have enough... Uh... Shots! Okay, wait until I see the... LCDs of their eyes. There we go. Aim for the battery. Da da da! Aww. I'm so glad you're okay. Yuki chan! I finally found you. You're safe now, alright? I know. But why are you here, Yuki chan? I'd come find you anywhere, Not chan. Is the little robot at her heels not a big enough clue? Even if I have to cross time and space to do it. Oh, Yuki chan! The Kimbolar's magnetic shield is still active. BJ! It is why the androids could not approach. Oh. You came back for me! Thanks, BJ. Of course. Smell talk must come later. There are four androids approaching. Let's go. No matter what comes our way, I will protect you. With everything I have! <laughs> Those maternal instincts kicking in. Okay. Oh. Yuki's cleared? Alright. Oops. Uh, but, hold on. Um... And adventure. Yeah, everything's done. But she didn't get a big cool scene at the end. Oh. Okay. Maybe it'll be part of Minami's. Should be a good spot, right? Oh, and they found Miura too. The river's nice and wide. Plus, no one else is around. It shouldn't be a problem if the sentinel pops up here. Are you going to summon it right now? Perhaps we should wait until nightfall. Well, we're going to send it right back, aren't we? Oh, they're bringing down the sentinel from orbit. If it's only for a second, then we should be fine. 
I want to change the registered pilot of Sentinel number 17 to you, Matsuno. Wait, right here? Why? I was previously using Miura's ID. However, the ownership of the ID returned to him. It's because I operated Sentinel number 19. I can no longer pilot a Sentinel. In order to shift to the Sentinel. Okay. So, uh, BJ Mura used to be in control of Sentinel 17, but because Human Mura took, uh, used the Miura ID to become owner of 19, then BJ Mura can't be an owner anymore because there's already a Miura ownership, so he wants 17 to go to Minami. It must receive a new pilot, and this change comes with a price. It will reset the Sentinel's stored memory. Wait, that's not good. Then, what do we do? We'll transfer all data logs to me. If it's done at the same time we change the registered pilot, I should be able to secure the log data. Well, you're gonna have to make some sacrifice to do it, like overwriting all of your own memories, right? Good thinking, BJ. Now, you know, from now on, Sentinel number 17 will be. Right, right, no problem. Let him I'll speak. Be the one who the robot, and I'll fight together with my pal, BJ. <laughs> Uh, no, that won't be happening if you would only listen to me, Minami. As long as Nachan isn't in any danger. Oh no, no danger inside of a giant fighting robot. Sentinel number 17 will protect Natsuno. If anything, I should be the one fighting. Oh, we, we can have a robot for you too. There is another Sentinel for you. What did you say? You must work together. And survive. You know it. Both processes must be performed concurrently. Now to know. It's time to activate. Okay. Not even a goodbye. I assume. Dang, that was fast. Now send it back, Nachon. Yep. And he's gone. Uh, how do I do that? <laughs> it... It disappeared. Does that mean it worked, BJ? BJ? That's you why you fight? don't interrupt Say people. Something. He's no longer with us. What? BJ was the only one who could retrieve the log data. But the storage capacity on a scout unit like that is limited. He couldn't store both the log data and his own AI data. Up. Oh. So in order to make room for the logs, he... deleted himself. Of course he did. No. No, you're wrong! He's just fooling around! Come on! Wake up, BJ! Look, Minami. Look with your... special... dumb eyes. E.T. won't be phoning home anymore. The end. Okay. Nami's cleared. Okay, who to do next then? Um, there's Miura, Ogata, Kisaragi Shu. I'll do the 87%, starting from you this way. So that's Ogata.
like that. Wait, why am I still here? Maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. Still, though. I just... I want to make sure you're going to be safe, Kisaragi. Oh, is this the actual day? Jeez, why do you sound so serious all of a sudden? If you're going back, then I'm coming with you. <sighs> I got something I got to do. Just wait right here a sec. Oh, sure. So the one who has the key, they're the one calling these monsters out. Even if they don't want to, never thought Minami would have it. So that guy Izumi, he's a Juro Karabe from another world? If that's really true, that League of Darkness lady's gotta be a Fuyusaka from another world. When I was a kid, I remember now. She said something about the Sentinels, probably talking about that robot I saw in the future ruins. Okay. So the world's gonna, and it's all because they're sending a- if... Gotta be kidding me. So all of this, it's all some big dream in my head? This Kisaragi. Wait, is Fuyusaka this the dream? And Wajima. None of them are real? Cuz... I thought Megami freed me. Or did she just shoot me, but now that I've got... Now that I've... Or no, she didn't shoot me, but she did... She, she unsealed something using the computer on my memory. Right? And now that she's helped me out... That big robot. Well, the Sentinel. If I could just pilot that thing, if this crazy loop does eventually become reality, maybe I could at least beat down a couple kaiju. Okay, so maybe this is still the loop, maybe this is reality, but in either case, it's time for me to call my... Yeah, because there's Okino, and he wasn't there anymore after Okino did a thing. I feel like this is really real. Oh, Ogata-kun, what's wrong? Okino's here. Looks like it worked. Get out of my way. Or oh, is that what Megami did? It's just you and me, Tsukasa Okino. Can't run this time. Ugh. What am I supposed to do? Last time, I got out of this place by chasing him. Okay, let's try it again then. Right, because. He is the sort of access of the thing. Okay, so I chased after him. I got out. Where am I? Not Kamazumi, that's for sure. It doesn't matter if we run, we never make it out in time. We only got a couple minutes until they ruin this place. Even if I told someone a that was what? Okay. Hichiyama? Hello. Why are you posing? Oh, wait. Why would you be shot? You get shot later. Hey, what's wrong? Unless it's just a memory wipe that he was shot with. Can't move, huh? Over here. Hurry. She's more badass than I am. Oh, maybe he got kicked. Yeah, probably got kicked right on the universal controls. They're coming back this way again. Well, the day's finally here. We won't be catching the train to school again anytime soon. And Hearing, like, the random citizens run by, like, panting with fear and desperation is really dark. Except for the fact that... Are they real? Or are they... 
just cared for by universal control. Our timing sucks, huh? We hit our operating limits at the same time. What about the others? They're not doing great. Even Miura Kun. Miura? Number 19, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna call my sentinel again. Oh, is this in the middle of the battle? Where are you shifting to? The assault never lets up. Everything's falling apart. I let down our defensive line. Please. We did plenty, man. We're gonna be okay. Let us handle the rest. I've already hit my operating limit. I'll try to get back in the fray as soon as I'm combat ready. Natsuno san, I'll fight your share as well. So you don't have to push yourself so hard. You really don't need to worry about me so much. I always worry about you. I'll go. No. Your sentinel's already taken a beating. I'll handle this. Didn't you just dismount? You're already at your limit. <sighs> I don't give a shit about my limits. I love you. And that's why I gotta break them. I... 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 <laughs> this little ankle. I <laughs> uh, try to have a badass moment, but he's got the key on his ankle. <laughs> uh. Oh, even so, I suppose Achilles would be jealous. That's Ogata done. Let's do Shu. Last we saw, he was meeting Ida, Ryoko, and Yuki after summoning his sentinel. Uh, but then they shift somewhere. Cool. Time to find out what happens, I hope. No, maybe not. Those government spooks are keeping an eye on me. At this rate, they could just take me away and nobody would ever know. Any more details about the idol then? So she was watching me this whole time? On behalf of that shady outfit? Is that why she approached me at all? Yuki-chan. No, wait. I'm the one who approached her, and she has to keep an eye on me? Well, hey, maybe this isn't so bad after all. That's a pretty quick turnaround. So she's been monitoring me this whole time? She's actually some Secret Service government spy? That's crazy. Also, not gonna lie, weirdly hot. You do you, Shu. The way me, those dream pay. Okay. My purse, that's whoa. Back in the you well, he. You that was so in wish I am. Okay. <gasps> Hello? Shukun, please help me. What's hey. up? He knows I'm here now. He knows I'm here. He's going to try to have me eliminated. Ida, maybe? Because I think this is after after they capture BJ. I think is when he would find out about this. What? So SIU would be he, maybe? Wait, wait. What do you mean eliminated? There's so much I still don't get here. I need a real explanation. I know, but I had to hack my way in to reach you. My connection won't last long. When you say he, you mean Tetsuya Ida? Yes. Yeah. Why is he after you? Because I'm helping you. 
I was right. He's trying to reset Project Ark. Right, he wants another loop. He wants to reset it. What would that do? The world would be destroyed by Kaiju. Everything will be gone. They want to start over. They want to restart this world from the beginning. They've done it before. Yeah. And a reset means you would be erased too. When you phrase it like that, it, it does make it sound like we're all in a simulation. But... I don't know. You're talking about kaiju now? You've already seen them. <sighs> you mean those things in my dreams? The sentinels were built to fight those kaiju. To defend the world you call home. So it's just space beyond the enclosure walls. That means we're in some huge spaceship, right? Why does all of this exist? Why cover up the truth? There is a supercomputer hidden below your town. I, yeah, I mean... If she's in orbit, why would there be something in orbit around a spaceship? Even if it's big. I, I don't... I don't know. We call it universal control. It has led you to believe you live in Japan, in a certain historical era. Why? Possibly to make your lives easier. Okay, so you're not universal, you're not a personality for universal control? Universal control is just a environmental control keeping the status quo? Then are you just another AI like Miura, who was in one of the Sentinels? So why are you trying to help us? You still don't know who I am. No. You and I have met many times. Oh, it's yesterday. it's his Sentinel. Okay. So she's been monitoring me this whole time. Hey. Okay. Uh, let's talk to her about this. Wait, you're not Tetsuya Ida, are you? Oh, <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Uh, you might be overthinking this. Shukun, please. We don't have much time. Please, give it some more thought. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're... Miyuki Inaba. Just who you say you are. Well, you're... Miyuki Inaba, right? Yes. And no. Naba is a disguise. Oh! You should know what my real... Please give it some more thought. It's... Tomi Kisaragi. It's the one that Ida tried to resurrect. Oh! The Tomi Kisaragi memories that Ida brought back, but then... Juro Izumi put back into the machine to take her body, she then ended up as a disembodied AI, but they put her in a sentinel on her own, and now she's helping Shu, who has Ida's DNA, to try to stop him from resetting in order to have another chance at... Man, this is... Oh, that song. From my dream. Oh, right, and she's an idol. She has the whole music thing going on. You don't mean... You're... You finally realized. This is how I got past universal control. I sang on an inconspicuous broadcast with all my heart, just like I used to. Kisaragi. Yes, it's me, but a different Tomi Kisaragi from the one in your world. I'm not human anymore. Just data on a computer. But that's exactly how I can still help you. Wow. She's been reaching out to using my TV set to break through the walls that separate us. She's the Tomi Kisaragi I saw in my dreams. The Tomi Kisaragi who has no body left. Just a mind inside a machine. Oh no. He's at Sector 3's terminal. Help me, Shukun. If we don't stop him, he'll erase me. What should I do? In 
inside the outer walls. I hid your sentinel in Hey! No, come on! Don't leave me hanging like this! Inside the outer walls? She's gone. What happens if I go there? Can I really make a difference? I can already tell this is gonna be a huge mess. Nope. Nope. A girl has asked for my help. I can't just run away from this. I'll go. And I'll figure out the rest when I get there. Alright, here we go. Oh. Any sudden moves and I shoot. Okay. <laughs> Shino Nome Senpai. Um the door was locked. How did you get in? Can I help you? I broke the lock. With that gun? There was an agent too. I put him to sleep. Oh. Okay. She's There was an agent that she put to sleep. All right. You were at the park with him. Okay, this is after the park. Are you with the shady spy bureau too? Is this after she shot him, or are they on their way there now? Yes. So, what do you want with me? She wants to take him to Sector 3? I need your sentinel. Oh, they have to use the sentinel to My get sentinel? to Sector 3? Call it here. That's a thing I can do? I have no idea how. Senpai, I'm sorry, but I've got something I need to do. You want me to shoot you? I have to go stop Ida. Uh. Huh? Sounds like we're on the same side. Okay. Past the tunnel? Yeah. That's where the sentinel's hidden. Apparently. That's some sentinel. It must weigh hundreds of tons. How does it fly in the air? But what I really don't understand is how you controlled it without any problems. Piloting a sentinel damages you. Like what happened to me. So most people can't operate them. Yes, but we've been shot by 426. He fixed that somehow, maybe? What? You mean piloting a sentinel did all that stuff to you? You know, it's not too late to turn back. <laughs> it is too late. Easy, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna give up now. A girl's in trouble. You know where you're going, don't you, Senpai? There are two terminals that have been analyzed so far. Sector 1 and Sector 3. But we can only get into one of them. That'd be the terminal in Sector 3. Not really sure I'm following here. Mr. Ida was supposed to take me with him, but he took Takamiya-san instead. Yuki-chan? What's he planning with Yuki-chan? He needed biometric ID from one of us. It's the only way he can access the terminal. Okay. But now he's put the gate into lockdown. That means a sentinel's the only way to shift in. Yeah, makes sense. It's just up ahead. of the spaceship, I guess. It's a spaceship? What are you talking about? Oh, whoa, uh, okay, so you never found out that part. It's a long story. This doesn't make sense. How could there be a facility like this in a tunnel? I don't know how, but there is. Let's look for the Sentinel. Okay. There it is. It's really here. The one I saw at the park. Miyuki and Abba hid it here. So, now what? Well, activate it. Yeah, but how? How did you do it before? I don't know, it just kind of happened. Uh, what about your activation switch? You should have one somewhere on your body. A switch? Where nanomachines were shot into you. That's where code was injected into your system. So that should be where your switch is. <sighs> oh yeah, I got shot. I think she got me. 
Right around here? Swipe across it. See if that starts things up. Here goes nothing. Ta-da! So I just swipe it like this? Yes, very dramatic. Now don't forget to take her with you. Watch out in the close quarters. Okay, I see you. So yeah, I'm in. But for something so big, well, this cockpit looks like a single seater. If it shares design elements from number 14, there should be a maintenance hatch somewhere. From there, I could set the shift destination. Okay, let me look. I found it. I think. Where is it? In the back. Okay, she climbs in like Minami did for Miura, and I was looking down there. I've set the shift destination. Now you just need to confirm it. Okay. Here we go. This thing better not let us down. Is it going to end here, or are we going to get to see the confrontation scene? I mean, I'm sure we'll see it, but will it be... What happened here? It's like a world after an apocalypse. That's Sakura High. It looks a lot like where we live. No, it's in ruins. But that is our city. We were in Sector 4. What you're looking at is Sector 3. Okay, so there really is more than one enclosure. It's down there. The bottom of that hole is the terminal. Looks like we'll fit right through. I guess we're going down. Yep, here it comes. Yuki! Freeze! Any closer and I shoot her. So, found a way through on Shu Amiguchi's Sentinel? I suppose this is because I chose Takamiya-kun over you. Those emotional impulses of yours really do try my patience. That's not why, Mr. Ida. Yeah, so this whole time Ida wanted... He, he just wants a happy ending together with, uh, Usami. But he lost his chance. Uh, pretty early on, thanks to 426, and, you know, the consequences of his own actions. So, he just wants information, he wants control, he, he, he's trying to maintain control over the situation by keeping tabs on all of the compatible and mainly he just wanted more information in order to be able to reset. He, re he, despite being from the previous loop, he doesn't really understand how to do it, maybe? Because Morimura was the one who did it for him last time. It doesn't matter. I don't care what group Yuki-chan's wrapped up in. I'm going to save her. When Yuki Inaba needs my help, I have to stop Ida somehow, or else he's going to erase her. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so... Well, it's not just our names. He and I are totally different people. You're Tetsuya Ida, huh? I know about you. I've seen a lot of your past. Well, that's inconvenient. She's still transplanting memories, then? Yes. Well, I know you, too. Perhaps better than anyone else could. After all, I've known you all your life. Ever since I dropped you off as a newborn. Oh, shit. That explains why he's in a different time. Because Ida... Ida would have been... Had a... Drop me off. 
a native to a different era, so it didn't make sense why Shu... I placed you into the Amiguchi family as a child. Then you're saying you are genetically identical to me. You are Tetsuya Ida. <sighs> Just like, just like they did for Chihiro, I guess they were trying to hide their clones from each other, maybe? I don't know. Hey, wait or second. just keeping themselves in a place where they could I'm keep an eye on them. To stay quiet for a moment more. Some place safer than where they came from. Yuki-chan's got nothing to do with this. Let her go! I'm afraid she's a vital part of the process. I need her biometrics to access the computer. You should know this is partly your fault. Up until now, I had simply been borrowing your ID. But then you had to go and access your Sentinel, which means authorization has been restored to you. Ah. Same thing that happened to Miura. Miyuki Inaba said something about this. She said she knew me through my ID, probably because he's the one she was trying to track. Oh. Yuki-chan, don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Amiguchi. You have feelings for Yuki Takamiya, I take it? <laughs> Is he gonna crit criticize himself for liking a different woman? Under any other circumstances, it'd be fascinating. <laughs> Genetically identical, but our experiences made us very different people indeed. A shame. There is nothing you can do to change this. <sighs> Miyuki... Inaba. ida -kun. So here you are at last. Your singing gave you away. I recognized it instantly. I'm still your biggest fan, believe it or not. Ida-kun, please. Think this over. I have to start things over for the two of us. This is a mistake. I'm afraid you're the one who's mistaken. It's too late. This place will be gone soon enough anyway. Or do you have some other option to share? <sighs> Even if I did, you wouldn't listen to me. Not the way you are now. Stop! I won't let you erase her! Erase her? Please. He's erasing everything but her. I love Tomi Kisaragi. There's no need for anything as drastic as that. But I do need to silence her as a precautionary measure. You can cut off communication. Oh, right. And him saying he loves someone else. That's what finally is tipping Ryoko. She's gonna... We, we know what happens after this, but what happens right now? I don't need to cut off communications. It doesn't matter where you are. After all, you're a Sentinel AI now. She's in a Sentinel? And I happen to have command authorization over the Sentinels. All of them up to number 19. Oh, but that's where you're on. She's not in number 9... Uh, in one up to 19. She's in... 20... 21 or something? That's impossible. Wait, Edekun. I'm in orbit right now. I'm watching this all from the command ship's computer. And I can see everything. I know what'll happen to that whole area. The reset will change everything. It'll all be broken down and rebuilt, but... Oh... Because, because it's like an arc, and they're just using DNA, ma raw materials, and data to rebuild anything, they can just reset it at any time. Kill everyone, just, just tell the machines to start it all over again. It already started from scratch, so they can do it at any time. 
Oh, so it's not... It's not a new planet each time. It's not a time loop each time. It's just... Breaking it down and building it back up again. Indeed. A new beginning for you. Okay. No, you don't understand. Attention. Emergency protocol. Oh, but what's the hiccup? Four shut down Sentinel number 16. Don't! You know the oh, never mind. She was in 16. Bastard! She'll be asleep until all of this is over. That's the last variable taken care of. I think our work here is done. We're returning to Sector 4. And you're coming with us, Shu Amiguchi. As will you, Shinonome-kun. Come on. You know you need me. Oh, you're pushing her over the edge there. Oh. You, you make someone feel a bit too used, then you gotta watch your back. Hey, really? That's my girl. We're leaving. Collect the equipment. Oh, his, his one weakness. I know what you've really been trying. The pride to before the fall. Back then, all those nights in the lab, you weren't trying to bring her back. You wanted to remake Kisaragi the way you wanted her to be. Yeah. Ida, you think we're the same person? You're nothing like me. I'd never use a girl as some tool. <sighs> Little shit. Stop right there. Oh. Don't move. Damn it. Honey, Gucci Kun, hurry. Right. Yuki-chan, get in the teleporter. You hurt Yuki-chan? Amiguchi. Uh, Shinonome. Uh, you can be such an inconvenience. Speaking of. Uh, Oof. Amiguchi. Takamiya-kun, I suggest you come quietly, or Amiguchi will suffer the consequences. You son of a bitch. Yuki-chan. Don't risk it. <laughs> if we could hurry this up, on it, sir. What? Uh, can I come too? No. They vanished. I they wasn't. Left. He wasn't there for the scene then. Okay. So this goes there. Okay. Okay, nice. So that's all set. Then let's do... This. Just, just helping out a couple of guys get back home. I bet they changed their tune once they needed him. No dice. You need to take this seriously. Hey, you want to do this yourself? Be my guest. Hey, yeah, where's your please and thank you? Keep it cool. He's doing fine. There we go. Thank you. Yuki-chan, I promised I'd save her. I'm going after her, no matter what it takes. Well, uh... Anything... No. No parts. I'll talk to the nice one. The director's coming back. Which means it may be up to us to find our way back home. Yeah. That's what we've been doing the last few hours. Probably best to work together for now. So you guys really have no idea how to work all this stuff? Our intel suggested it's just not possible for us. The only ones with clearance and ability are the special miners. But we'll certainly make an effort. Can't your robot do something to solve this? It's capable of transporting us across time, correct? Yeah, but I had Ryoko help me. Hell if I know, man. My senpai was the one who set up the time travel. Sure, I can fly the thing, but I'd have no idea how to get us home. How much does your organization know? Do they have any real info on how this place works? Well, it's a UFO made by scientists of the future. Since before our time, it's been buried here. 
deep underground. Okay, so you're basically clueless. Sound about right? Yeah. Come on, out of the way. This time I'll this get it. Nothing like my microcomputer at home. Damn it. This doesn't look good. I can't help Miyuki and Aba. I can't even go after Yuki-chan. What am I supposed to do here? Huh? Where'd the console go? Did it work? No. Oh, is somebody it's beaming in? By itself. Oh. Minami? Amiguchi-kun? This is after she was shot? The data unit. Men in black. What? And that's a hundred percent? Wait, I need to check the event archive on that. Uh Okay. Ida versus Amaguchi. Then it's goodbye, Mr. Ida. Meanwhile, they've got Juro. All the stuff A is after all of that. Huh. Amazing that this is still pretty early on because all of A and also No. That's the beginning. That's the middle of the fight. This is... They're in 1985. When did they... go... It's not showing me that scene there at the end, then. It's after this. But... Minami... Doesn't have anything logged until this. Huh. So it's in the middle of all the shootings and all the... her investigation... No, it's right before her investigation starts. Okay. Alright. Let's do... Ryoko. Mm -hmm. Easy. Take your time. Do you know where you are? Okay. I've seen the surveillance footage now. So n this should be right before... Or no. It's after. Uh... Yeah, because if... Yeah... She... She's on the hunt, she's having run-ins with A... She's doing some work with SIU...
Then she finds out about the surveillance footage. And then she meets up with Miyuki. They go after Ida. She says goodbye. And Shu is there when she wakes up. Ah. Huh. And then, with her memory problem, she's forgotten it all. Okay. Um. So between B, somewhere in here is when the Shu and Minami stuff is happening. Uh, so what's the last thing? we saw from Minami before that. It was when she's... stuck in 2025, right? Oh, no, she's rescued before that. Okay. So, after they reunite, at some point, she shows up in 2025, and then later they have... much later, they have the scene... Uh, wait, where was it? Yeah, much later. They have the scene with Miura. Okay, maybe Miura's story will fill in some blanks. But in any case... Shinonome-san? Do you know what year it is? 1985. What's the last thing you remember? 426. He got away from me. I won't let him escape next time. Okay. My mind was wiped again. I see. Alright. How are you feeling? My head really hurts. Maybe I should keep you here for further observation. My internal clock just needs a bit to readjust. You're putting too much of a burden on your nervous system. You need to stop shifting. Do you still have your pills? Make sure you're taking them. Okay. Mr. He for this should make me feel a little better. The coordinators. Yeah. Please, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, no. So she says that to her, but she's lying. Uh, she doesn't... She hasn't forgotten stuff that she's learned in her investigations so far. She's been mud. She wants to change. I can't... Surveillance footage. Including she remembers this. That's right. I saw something important. I can't remember. Maybe I should go look again. It was in Shikishima's underground facility in 2105. I just need to... Get to the gate. Okay. Why can't we time travel right now? The gate has been sealed by someone. I'm looking into it. The gate is locked. There's only one person who could have done it. It's him. It has to be. Ida? 426. Oh no. The one that set up the gates in the first place. No. 426 isn't the one who set up the gates. Morimura is. So we're stuck here? In the past? You read that in the mystery files. It's only a matter of time before 426. I need the list of the- Of course, that includes the people of this era too. I'll see what I can do. There's no other option. If we don't find him, 
The result will be worse than anything we imagined. Or would you rather I go ask the students? Yeah, we've been through this. Fine. The file is on my... It isn't everyone, but it does list... Th I'll fix it. Um... Maybe... I think I've been through all of this before. Wait. So I think maybe I can just leave... No. We're counting. These files are only... That goes... You... Okay. I don't have the list. Red... She wants me to work with Goto. If I... We're counting. They said the gate's been sealed, but what if it's a lie? A way to try and keep me here. <sighs> yeah, let's go find out. Okay. Who's there? These things usually aren't just left running. Okay. I knew it wouldn't work. What are you doing? Mori Mora. Surveillance? Oh, I saw something important. I locked the gate. You won't be able to use it. I knew it. It was you. Yeah, she's the one who set up the gates. She's in control. You disabled the gates, not 426. Stop being ridiculous. You need to take your pills. I won't let those damn mind-controlling pills screw with my head anymore! Well... I, the pills... I mean, some of them are helping, some of them are hurting. It's more like... They're helping delay the effects, but she also doesn't mind when it doesn't help. And she's controlling outside of the pills. Who told you that? I saw it for myself. You're trying to mess with both me and Iori Fuyusaka's heads. She's getting worse. The code that infected the Sentinels in 2064. It separates the nanomachines from the rest of your brain. Right. Your memories will keep disappearing. Yeah. Those pills you've been taking, they inhibit that separation. They try to preserve the link. Yeah. But its effectiveness has been gradually decreasing. Yeah. No, I won't believe anything you say. Hmm. Where's Renya Goto? Are you screwing him up too? It was you, you know. <gasps> you were the cause of the infection. You inserted the code that 426 created. Oh. No. Just more lies. It's true. Goto. Well, that explains why she got hit the hardest by it. Okino was vaccinated against it. Izumi didn't really get it too bad until he pushed himself in the next battle. Uh, and A got hit by it, but it wasn't as severe. You were conspiring with Morimura this whole time? I've told you the truth a number of times. But you weren't able to accept it. You couldn't hold on to the memory. That's a lie. You messed me up with those pills. You made me confused. It's all there. You just have to remember. The code that infected the Sentinels. DD-426. You were the one that gave it to Sekigahara. You're lying.
Did Ida tell her to do it? Mr. Ida, for you to ask for me personally? Why? Why would Ida? Oh yeah, cause Ida had. So at this point, things are already not going well for Ida, and he wants a reset. So he uses. I can't tell you how happy it made me. I've been waiting. I need you to look at this. So he hamstrings the. Uh. The resistance forces in order to make this loop less desirable for everybody, maybe? Code DD426. The nanomachines within you. Why would he name it DD426? There is a flaw in the program. It is inhibiting you from unlocking the full extent of their power. But there exists a code to fix it. A flaw? If we implement this, the Sentinel's capabilities will increase greatly. Mori Morrison, however, does not agree. Why? She believes the Sentinels are more than capable as they are. Uh, why is she like that? She's always going against you, Mr. Ida. If only everyone was as understanding as you. I want us to give this code a try. It'll be our little secret, of course. And then, Morimura-san will see who was right. All you have to do is put this code into the Sentinel. Okay, I'll do it. An improvement to the Sentinel, huh? Checks out. Ryoko-san, what was Ida talking to you about? Nothing that concerns you. Guess I'm still just some kid that lives nearby, huh? Akon. A fourth wave is approaching. We need to get ready. DD-426 into number 14. Or... I'll put it into number 15. Akun Sentinel. Mr. Ida's right. And now, Akun will know it too. Oh. Oh. Huh. I wonder why... Akun didn't have it as bad. And his was the starting point. After you shifted, you went missing. Well, you went to the Sector 4 and Ida found it you. It took a long time to get you back. When we finally did, your condition was already terminal. We've been able to keep it at bay with the medication, but the destruction of your memories has already begun. For you, we tried to reinforce your memories with nanomachines. Oh, is it just... The only reason there's a difference in their symptoms is that A started receiving medication faster than Ryoko did while she was with the SIU. Just working with Ida, he wasn't looking out for her. Damn. It, it hasn't gone well. We thought if we let you roam free, that your memories would stabilize. However... Your memories kept failing. It only made you become further detached from reality. Even still, it is imperative that you remember. Only you can clear the infection within the Sentinels. Oh. Because only you know the password. Oh. We don't have much time. Please, you must remember. Stop! It's all my fault. Poor Ryoko sure has a rough go of it. You're awake. Who are you? Try and remember. Akon? That's right. I... I can't. 
can't remember my name. Ryoko Shinonome. Is that my name? It doesn't sound familiar. Oh, oh right. I need to find... What was I looking for again? I can't remember. You don't have to anymore. You don't have to look for anything, Ryoko-san. More importantly, how are you feeling? I feel... good. Refreshed. Peaceful, even. <sighs> Maybe it's just not possible. The nanomachines linked to her memory have all separated. She barely has any memories left. Damn. <sighs> the memories you implanted in her, what are they? We did the same for all of you. When you were connected to the learning devices, you gained the knowledge needed to control the sentinels and the gates. Those memories were backed up in case there was an accident. Okay, so when they're little cadets learning how to be pilots, they get their sentinel education backed up, and that's what they were implanting. So she has her memories of what happened before the incident. Oh. No, not all of them. We only backed up those which pertain to learning. So all she knows is how to control the Sentinel. Ryoko-san. The password to remove the infection. Gone, along with the rest of her memories. We can no longer rely on the Sentinels. So that's it? You're giving up? There is still one way to use the Sentinels. No. Further exposure to the infection, and there's no guarantee you'll survive. He's not talking about himself. After everything you've taken from her, it still isn't enough. I won't let you put her in the Sentinel. No. No, Akun. Sentinel number 14. It was made just for me. By Mr. Ida. It's my Sentinel. Ryoko-san. I won't let anyone else fight for me. Pretty tragic. And now I'm just picturing the SpongeBob scene where she forgets everything she knows except for how to control a sentinel and breathing. What's your name, son? <laughs> my name? My name? We threw out her name! <laughs> and that's it for Ryoko! Okay. Uh, so there's one, two, three, four... About four of them in the 70s. Let's... Let's see. Megami... A... Miura... And Kisaragi. Let's do A. Since he's kind of tied to all that. Okay. Um... After chasing Megami, he ended up encountering Miura. He remembered the promise he made to BJ. But this time, oh, the cryptic note. Time to find out what it meant. Okay. moves carefully. A girl with Okay, seen all that before. Um no, don't need that for the moment. 
that student I saw in front of the school gate. She's Natsunomi Nami. She's likely already gone home by now. I'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. These numbers are for the message service. One set is the user number, and the other is the password. Oh! Is it the password for the infection? Where did Mori Mori get it? Why does this guy keep calling? Have I been following his orders this whole time? And who's calling? Because Ida's gone at this point. He wanted information, and he was trying to extract it from that data unit. <sighs> right? Uh... As of this point... We're going through his whole thing, so we're probably around here. Yeah, so it's after... ...all of this. Yeah. Oh, but maybe... No. Because some of the calls happened around here. Hmm. Who else would want the data? Go tell? So the numbers were for a message service. I wonder who would have left a message for me. Oh, never mind. Not the infection. Didn't I already get that message? Looks like I'm out of time. Above all else, finish the job. It's for my... For your sake. Understood? Finish the what job. What does that mean? If that message from myself was true, then Natsunomi Nami is a key figure in all this. She may get me a step closer to recovering my memories. If I can really believe what I heard, that is. I guess I'd better get my hands on that data unit and find out. I'll do some investigating of my own on Minami. Or no, he didn't get a message from BJ. The message he saw from himself was in the motorcycle? I just need to find her first. Now, how should I approach this? I wouldn't mind having Fuyusaka tag along. She may even be able to help me find Natsunomi Nami. But I don't want to get her mixed up in all... Wait a minute. When I met up with Fuyusaka this morning, a girl passed by and said she was going to the track room. Wasn't that Natsunomi Nami? Okay. Let's try I'll that then. i school to get out tomorrow. Then I'll head over to the track room. If I check the event archive, just go to a... So, uh... After the Awakening, a mysterious girl has a package. Yeah, he already got the message from BJ. So, Fuyusaka's at the front gate. 
She's still waiting for me. Things might heat up again. I can't drag her into this. If anything were to happen to her, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. I guess he's just confused. It's Baytek the it's The medical sh they've not she and I've been Okay, the men in black are hovering around. Fuyusaka wasn't kidding. They're crawling all over campus. But who's in charge of them now? The and... As of this point... We... Don't really know where Minami is. It's after Yuki finds her, but before the bridge scene. Where is it compared to the bit we saw with Shu? Oh, Shu's thing was around here. And then this is all here. Okay, so it's after that, so we have no idea what Minami's really up to. She's just going to school and things. Okay, so I can't go that way, so let's look. Yes, yes, yes. They must be trying to pin me. Guess I'm steering clear. Yep. Oh, but I can't go somewhere else? Excuse me, where can I find someone who's on the track team? Oh, well, we're on the track team. Do you need something? Uh, yes. I'm Your favorite member, Minami? Minami? Oh, Minami? She went for a run around the school. She hasn't come back yet. Yep, that's right. Around the school. Got it. That's... Okay, this is after her story as well. She's the one who delivered that package to me. The one that contained the message to myself. Looks like she goes to this school too. Where'd she go? Leading me into the old school building? Away from prying eyes and prying ears. Is she messing with me? Prying hands. Prying noses. Prying tons. <sighs> She's definitely up to something. Are there any robots hiding? <laughs> um... Natsunomi Nami. Bastard! Stay the hell away from Nachan! Wait, Yuki-chan! For what? This asshole just held a gun to your face! Stop this right now, you two! Yeah, the same kind of gun that... Wait a second. Didn't... Who what? <laughs> It, oh man, there's so many things to try to keep track of and remember. Who was it that gave Yuki a gun to protect Minami when she went after her? What, wasn't it A? Or was it Ryoko? Yeah, it was Ryoko. Fine. Never mind. You seem to know who I am. Care to explain what's going on? You really forgot everything, huh? Just like Shinonome. <sighs> That's why I can't get a good read on you. Hard to tell whose side you're on right now. How many sides are left, though? If Ida's disposed of, there's nobody trying to reset the loop. 426 wants everybody to fight the kaiju in a 
escalating uh, arms race. And Morimura originally... She's the one that's the most unclear, it feels. She originally wanted the Sentinels, but then also she's trying to help people's mental states, but also it seemed like she might be downloading personalities, but then maybe it turns out the personalities were just memories of themselves, not the other selves, but it included memories of their past selves, but it only showed up as dreams because of 426. Uh, and then there's Goto, who's working with another Morimura, but kind of working with the other Morimura. <laughs> uh, and we don't know much about his intentions, really. We haven't been able to play much of his route. You two. You lured me all the way over here. What are you planning? Planning? I thought you came for him, right? Most of the students so far have, you know, they're not really expressing a lot of agency or plans. They're just sort of being whisked along the ride, figuring some things out, but generally going wherever somebody else is pointing them. Him? That's... that's what showed me the footage of myself. Wrong. That's not the same one I gave you. Oh. That unit was a different one supplied by the SIU. What? They're the ones who had it say all those things. What? SIU? It's where those guys in black are from. Oh. So at the point... Okay. Hold on. So at the point when she gave him the message. No, but all of this is after they're back. After they have reunited. I thought they took BJ away from... Where did BJ end up after... Wait, where's... Nachan's gone. Okay. Her investigation. Okay, and then she finds her here. But she came with BJ. Where did she get... Oh, Ryoko. No. Miura. Miura. No. Miura just means BJ. Man, this... Okay. But then... Because... Who... Minami disappeared... Here... And Minami was taken by... She saw Goto and Morimura. Man, it's bad when I'm forgetting things that happened in this stream. Uh, there's just so many characters and pieces and times. I apologize. Yeah. 
they hid from Goto. Okay, it was, yeah, it was Ryoko who was lying in wait and took BJ. And then... Ryoko was not working for SIU, though. Well, she kind of was, but she watched the projection from herself, which gave herself more doubt. And then she gave it to Yuki here. And then... She hides it until she needs it. That's right. Okay, and then she uses it to find her then. Okay, so SIU never actually got it. So SIU just had a different one? Uh, how do you... Just who in the world are you? I'm Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. Are you working with the SIU? Strictly speaking, no. Then why cooperate with them? Got no choice. They're keeping tabs on Nachan. <sighs> so those black suits wanted me to see that footage. But why? So this is it. This is the data unit I was told to seek out. There's a message for you. A message? He asked me to show it to you. So, here it is. Not John. Uh. And when they say he asked me to show it to you, they're talking about the old him. Why? Why did you temporarily erase your memories? Was it because of me? What? Yes. Oh. Oh, he's talking to Mira. Okay, so he was working for Ida. So, after the infection incident, A is on the run, but he's kind of working for Ida, and then there's Ryoko, also working for Ida, but chasing A without knowing it. Okay, this is Goto. I allowed her to participate in Shikishima's project. The project was put on hold, but she continues working on it despite our warnings. Our company will suffer massive losses as a result. That's not the real reason. Excuse me. You pushed for the acquisition of Newman Inc., and that initiated a backdoor transfer of a large slush fund. What are you basing this on? Morimura's interstellar development project. It was one of 12 that were showcased for the acquisition. You used the project as a cover for the real use of your funds, but Morimura's actions threw a wrench in your plans. If an international agency were to catch wind of the situation, they'll definitely launch an investigation, and that will put you in danger of losing your position. Are you threatening me, Sekigahara? <sighs> like I'd waste my time. I'm an assassin. A professional. So what's the real thing they were working on? The... Uh, the interlocutors? If I'm expected to perform my job... Is that what he was working on? Uh... Under wraps? And I need every last detail on my target. <sighs> Interesting that the DNA of an assassin winded up in here. Sector 4. It's another colony that's still under construction. You'll find her research lab there. 
I'll be heading into orbit myself next month for an inspection. I want the job handled by then. And be discreet. I've just sent over security details for Sector 4. You'll also find a security personnel ID for your use. Eliminate Chihiro Morimura and put an end to the project. Okay. Yeah, I think... I think maybe it's Goto who's been on the walkie with A then. First, I'll have to confirm Echoing this... What was repeating all itself about? all again. Yuki Takami. She delivered the data unit to me near the riverbank. She seemed to have known me before I lost my memories. Morimura's that one teacher, right? You came here from the future to kill her? But more importantly, the hell were you doing with that four-eyed bastard? I'm... an assassin? Wait, Minami, wouldn't you know... Minami, wouldn't you be aware that 2188 isn't actually the future? But it's the... It's actually the past that all this was built? Morimura. So I really did do it. No. I wasn't going after Fuyusaka next, was I? <sighs> and I've been lying to Miura. Was it about the change in command? No. That can't be right. Yeah, I, I, it still doesn't explain... There you are. It feels like the scene he woke up with at with no memories was staged by someone else. It doesn't really match up with what he was doing in his final days. Is this right after the infection incident? Keeping an eye on me with your drone? Finding you was simply a coincidence. Just like you, I'm now considered deceased. Ever since the battle in Sector 2, I've been in hiding. Yeah, okay. I wasn't too worried about you. Knowing you, I figured you'd keep yourself out of trouble. <laughs> so tell me, back on the battlefield in 2064, who used DD-426? Someone did his research. Your sentinel was the source of the infection, so the evidence suggests that you're the one who used it. Guess that's how it looks. I'm not sure who the real culprit is. However, okay, Shiro he's full of shit. Operation Aegis after we lost. He's trying to pin things on. Just trying to keep everybody busy and away from him. What is Operation Aegis? Just look at this place. What the hell happened? Sector 3 was used as a trial run of sorts. It was the only terminal tested on, but it was enough to activate the self-defense system. Sector 4 will be the real deal. The 1980s. Once all the terminals are sealed by the self-defense system, then Operation Aegis will be fulfilled. Okay. If that succeeds, we'll no longer be able to loop. Oh, right. And he doesn't want that. And we can't let that happen. Okay. Unfortunately, your city is doomed to forever be in ruins. If we're unable to loop anymore, that is. By loop, you mean going back in time, right? How is that different from shifting? Well... <laughs> I know now! This world was created only 15 years ago. You come from a different world, where the year is 2064. Well, no. Your world never existed prior to 2049. Yes. Never existed? But we're in 2025 right now, aren't we? This is neither the past nor the future. That's how the five sectors were designed. Yeah. They were created when you arrived from another world. Well, no. When 
Oh, you mean generally when we all arrive from another world. Unless it's not another world. I've had enough of this crap. If there's really some other world, then prove it. I take it you're aware of Miura's logs. Logs? Logs of the year 2188. I made an interesting discovery after studying the data myself. I learned that the real world is in 2188. We were meant to return there eventually. However, this world is destroyed before that time can come. A tragic incident indeed. Especially if it was the result of someone's careless actions. Our enemies, the ones we call Kaiju, have one goal. To gain control over every mainframe in all sectors. Once that's accomplished, the five sectors will reset. This causes the world to be recreated. Huh. The kaiju winning is what resets the loop? So it's, it's not a matter of starting a loop. Losing is what loops, but it's a complete reset unless something is carried forward. And that's what he wants. And that includes you. Morimura and I didn't exactly go back in time. Right. We merely skipped the recreation. Yeah. <sighs> You're looking rather pale. Well. Uh... Didn't you deliver those pills to Morimura? Yes. From... But, and it was... Was it 426 who gave them to him? D developed them? Yes. So the infection that he's suffering from was created, designed by... Ida, even though it's called DD426. And the guy 426 is the one who developed the pills to combat it. For Izumi and Shinonomi kun. But then Morimura is the one who's been giving it out, prescribing it. You and the others have no hope of fully recovering. However, there is a way for you to survive. How? I'll extract your data from before you lost your memories. Then I'll take it with me to the recreated world. That should stop the effects of DD-426. Can you really do that? So then, what do you need me for? To make sure we can loop, of course. To make sure the kaiju win. I intend to stop Operation Aegis so we can start over again. And make sure Aegis doesn't even... Complete. And if I'm going to do that, I'll need your help. Still don't believe me? Not really. Well, you will once you see the logs for yourself. I need you to find Sentinel number 17. <sighs> I know he made a copy of it. The data will be useful in the next world. So I'd like to get my hands on it. Okay. See that drone. So he's not looking for a way to loop. He already knows how the loops work. He just wants the info to bring with him. Gotcha. Drone? This thing? Yes, but don't activate it just yet. That's no ordinary drone. It's him. Miura? It was before the Sentinels were randomly transmitted. He transferred himself into that drone and escaped. I managed to secure him in Sector 2. He doesn't entirely agree with my methods, though. As such, he's chosen not to cooperate. It would be best if you told him you saved him from me. Come again? You're going to convince him that you've saved him. Then, you'll retrieve the data from him. You're asking me to lie to him? 
He received command over Sentinel number 17 instead of me. I'm not exactly sure why, but he's the only one who can track and activate it. For your sake, cooperate. I'll ensure that Miura comes with us. Above all, this is for you and Shino no kun Well then. You can't use the gate at school due to structural damage. I've set new coordinates further ahead. Oh, so that's why this random building was set. Feel free to use that one. Hang on, I never- To avoid suspicion, I'll have my men continue following you. Oh! They won't be aware of our plans, however. So try not to get caught. I'm heading back to Sector 4. Dang! Okay. Hey, Miura. I'm glad you're okay. Whoops. Uh, oh, and then it's locked. Um... If we look at the event archive... Way back at the beginning, I just want to check... BJ's path. So, after the infection incident, Ida grabbed BJ from Sector 2, 2064, and gave him to A, and then it was. Then, oh, I forget who the mysterious student. Oh no, okay, with A. So A hides Miura in a place where Minami finds it. Interesting. Okay. Ten, twelve. Ah, oh, eight there. Um, but let's do Megami, Miura, Tomi. Let's do Miura. Yep, his favorite spot. He's found his little sister. Kind of knows what's going on. No point in trying to make sense out of his story. And still too early to say anything for sure. But a scout unit from the future? And it possesses my consciousness? Well. The footage he showed us is allegedly from the future. If it's real, then how am I still alive 200 years from now? Well. I mean, there's a lot to unpack here. One, whether it's really your unconsciousness just because that person shares your DNA. Two, uh, what constitutes being alive? Is being an AI consciousness? Uh, life? It's definitely not... It, it wouldn't be you still being alive. And it's also not 200 years from now, it's from the past. All I know for certain is that it's no ordinary scout unit. Natsuno san. Okay. Anything new? Chihiro. She was acting like a completely different person. Design engineer. 
Controlling the system? What was she talking about? <sighs> Chihiro. What's happened to her? Chihiro... Morimura? She's the original Chihiro? Is there no going back to the way she used to be? <sighs> Chihiro. Even if I do... Natsuno-san. I'm not sure why, but I really want to hear her voice right now. Could she still be at school? Let's go. Okay. So, this time... Uh, who knows? No point in trying to make sense of it, but... Uh Is that you, Shintaro? Let's go to the athletics building. Natsuno-san's over there. And at this point in his story... Um... What's it called? Uh, sorry, Miura, 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 there. Um, we're around... Are we around here? The last time... He tells Miura that A. Sekigahara is trying to kill Chihiro. Okay. But it's before... It's before Karabe activates his sentinel. Okay. Uh, and that Chihiro, if we go to all events and look for that, in terms of Minami's timeline, we are... After... She helps him out in the and while she's still searching through computers. Okay. But before she disappears. Got it. Oh, what do I do? What's the hurry? Miyurakun. BJ's gone. I'm pretty sure he's lost somewhere by himself. If he's caught, we'll never see him again. All right, let's split up and find him. Okay, he couldn't have gone too far. Maybe he's inside one of the school buildings. Okay, then you search the buildings. I'll search the campus perimeter. Okay, I'm on it. Th I'll search the campus perimeter, huh? RC thing? It went back behind the North School building. Think it belongs to the radio club? It was all boxy and weird shaped. Didn't look like a helicopter to me. <sighs> so it can fly behind the North building. That's where the old school building is. Of course it's in the old school building. That's where everything goes to hide. No sign of them. Sounds like rotor blades. Hello. Are you trying to draw attention to yourself? Natsuno sounds worried about you. Hey, Karo Miura. I've been scanning for you from overhead. Huh? You're looking for me? Well, that's fortunate. I've been looking for you, too. 
Is what Sekigahara said true? Are you... me? That's correct. I am Hitaro Miyuma. <sighs> At this point, nothing I hear should surprise me anymore. Why do you look like this? When the world was destroyed, I died. <sighs> I had to take your place and fight in the Sentinel. Huh. Right. So... Wait, are you not... The 2188 Miura then? Because when they built the Sentinels, they created backup versions of themselves. Like, in order to operate a Sentinel, you need both you, but you also need a you in the Sentinel to help face it. And so he's saying the living Miura died, but you... And then just the AI part was left. But then from what? Is that from a different loop? Because this Miura... Or is it that the Sentinel data is being preserved between loops? In order to do this, I was resurrected. AI. Yeah. Yeah, so... Maybe it was the last loop. They got a bunch of the compatible into Sentinels. And then this time they kept the data of the kids of the last loop? So you've been using a sentinel to fight off those monsters. That's what you're looking for, right? Correct. Then how did your AI end up in this scout unit? There was a malfunction in the sentinel. So I uploaded a part of myself to this drone. However, 72% of me is still wrapped inside the sentinel. Does Natsuno-san know that you're me? We didn't get a chance to meet in the previous world. Okay. I'm very fond of Natsuno. It's best that she doesn't know. If you're really from the future, then you must know what's going to happen. My experiences are all from past events. Past events? Time is relative. Even with future technology, time travel is impossible. Yep. We never traveled through time. Not even the 12 year jump. But it's all. You're Keitaro Miura from the future. Reconstruction. Right? I'm an entity that used to be Miura. Before you. Okay, I, I had assumed that. As an AI, he was a me he was the 2188 Miura, but he's just a previous loop Miura. I located the Sentinel. I can now access all logs. So the rest of the footage is available. Promise me. Mm -hmm. Before the final invasion begins, you'll research the logs and figure out a solution. Shihiro Morimura's plan. Operation Aegis. You don't have confidence in it? It will lead you all down a path of destruction. Chihiro's... plan? Hmm. I mean... Ida wanted to stop Project Aegis. That's because Project Aegis prevents loops, and he wanted everything to be destroyed to try again. 426 is clearly creating, setting up the game for a path of destruction, but 
if you trust him, it's because he believes they can win? And then Morimura also must want Aegis for good reasons? Promise me. Why are you asking me this? So that me or EJ knew all along that uh, in order to get the data off of number 17, he'd have to sacrifice himself. Is all going as planned? All issues have been resolved on my end. This is Miura and... Four sectors are ready for the final phase. The remaining one is at roughly 70%. Sectors? Their structures are similar to these colonies. So that's what I've been calling them. So we'll have five sectors then. Her voice is familiar. I've chosen not to divide them based on orbital positions. Instead, I've separated them by historical eras. I've been meaning to ask, why don't we create a residential district of the present day? The decision was made to start over, from a time before the world took such a terrible turn. Before the nanomachine incidents? Oh, this is an older Morimura. This is our first time seeing the Morimura of 2188. Perhaps humanity tasted the fruit of knowledge too early. When it was being decided how far we should go back, we couldn't come to an agreement. So we ultimately settled on preparing residential districts by era. I've always wanted to live in the 20th century before the war, so this works out perfectly. However, some resources of the era are quite old. Accurately reproducing them might pose a difficulty. I don't think I can do it with confidence. That's fine. As long as our civilization survives, I'll be happy. Once it's completed, just one district will be the size of a city. It'll have a bustling population of 1.2 million people. We have more residential areas than we originally planned. Miss Karabe's hands are going to be awfully full. I'm sure everything will be finished on time. I have to get back to work. Understood. Okay. Takatoshi Hijiyama's Destroyer of Worlds event. Uh... Well, let's go to... Uh... Who else was getting high? It was Megami... Sorry, phrasing. Um... Or Tomi... Hmm, which one? Let's do... Megami for... No, 71... 75. Let's do Tomi. After returning... So last we saw her... Right, she was stranded, but they got to universal control, and now they've returned. But they left Miwako behind. And now... They've got... This Miwako. Usami-chan, I've been meaning to tell you. I found a cafe with some amazing looking cakes. Shall we go there after school? That's the same thing you said before we left. Hmm? You've been acting strange today. Uh... Did something happen? You're acting like nothing did. That's the problem. We went to the ruined future. You really don't remember? You said that this morning, too. I've never heard of ruined future. <laughs> what kind of shop is it? <sighs> oh, yeah. We went way deep underground. 
you were freaking out. You've got to remember that, right? Underground? You mean the downstairs food court at the mall? Um, no. All right, Miyuko. Tell it to me straight. In the last few days, did anything big happen? Anything at all? In the last few days? Let's see. Hmm. Something big. Oh, I know. You remember? Three days ago, we moved classrooms from the old building to the new one. And that was so sudden. I could hardly believe it. <sighs> Is that not it? She doesn't remember a thing about what just happened. That's not something you can just forget. It's more like... Her memories were rewritten. As if she never went there at all. But the school marked as absent those days. But she's acting like she's been here the whole time. It's crazy. Did that underground computer do this? Yep. It sure did. Hey. I'm glad you remember at least. Miwako has no memory of the whole ordeal. To her, it's like nothing ever happened. And Shinanome Senpai, she doesn't even remember my face. Well, that's different. So that's what Sekigahara meant about being managed. Damn. If that's true, then everyone here's in the same boat, right? My mom? The people of my city? Maybe they're all hidden somewhere, being monitored. It all comes down to that underground computer. I bet it has the answers. <sighs> I'm... I'm gonna go back there. What? Dude, are you crazy? The place is crawling with androids. Um, I'm pretty good at hiding. Dumbass, you'll die. Besides, how the hell do you plan on getting there? How the hell do you plan on getting there? Give it a rest. Uh... Hmm. If we use the gate again, we can return to that era. Do you even know how? Uh... I don't think Morimura would be much help. And Shinonome-senpai, she was looking at me real suspiciously. Oh, I know! Sekigahara-kun! I'll find him and... Calm down. Just think about it for a sec. You really want to mess with that thing? Shit's dangerous. And you know, if you get stranded again, you might be stuck for good. I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. Wait a second. I should slow down and think a little. <laughs> but still. Oh, it's the real conversation they had. Now that I think about it, why do you care? Don't tell me. You're worried about me that much? Am I really that important to you? Oh, shut up. Go ahead and die for all I care. It's just... I'd feel pretty shitty being the one who let you do it. Huh. So that's how it is. So... what? You want me to just sit on my ass until something happens? I get it, alright? We'll think of something together. Just don't go rushing off on your own. Yeah, what's left for you to do at this point of the story? Well, time for me to go rush off doing something on my own. It's there. Aha! So they are here too. Well, in reality, look what we got here. Ogata, most punchable face in the city. I think it's about time we settled our shit. Hey now, come on. You're an all-star. Get your game on. Go play. Hey, stay out of this, idiot. What do we got here? Don't tell me this little bitch is your girl. No, you're my little bitch. <laughs> Didn't know you were into elementary schoolers. That's messed up, man. Her face is you gonna say? be messed up. You wanna say that again? Say it to my face. Say it to my face with your face. Just give me a little 
Yes. Hey, stop it. That's only a taste of what you deserve. Wow, he used a ton. Asshole. Uh, not there. Train's already here. Huh. Whatever you want. All right. Bye, buddy. I can't keep waiting around like this. We'll think of something together. <laughs> yeah, right. Keep your word next time, dummy. I mean, a few weeks later. Another day, another waste of time. Oh, is she gonna find the Tamau android? No. Somebody at the gate? There has to be a gate here somewhere. Was it all just a weird dream? Oh. oh, stop it, me! If I start to doubt myself, it's all over. I've got a lot more investigating to do. When we arrived, the gate was right here. If I stand here, I should be able to go back. At least, that's what I think. But what do I do to get it to show up? Is it sealed at this point, though? Yeah. Uh, examine further. Maybe there's a switch somewhere. No. Oh. I guess just thinking about the idea of a switch. Oh, never mind. Somebody else. Here we are, 1985. <sighs> Do you know what you have to do? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I'd be questioning my sanity. It's so absurd, my head's going to burst. You can head back and rest up. Okino. Don't worry. I won't be going anywhere. I just need to ensure Chihiro Morimura doesn't find out. Right, and then there's Okino. Okino is just acting out of self-preservation and focused on trying to well, Okino's plan was mainly to stop the Daimos from coming again at all by uh, cutting out the decode from everybody, but that clearly didn't work out. Time to pull a few tricks on the gate and cover our tracks. See you. Hello. I saw that. Finally found my inn. So... You there. You seem to be able to access the gate. Who are you? Tomi Kisaragi. And you are... Okino-kun. A guy who doesn't want to be caught by Morimura. Right? Uh... Now then. Won't you do something for me? You don't have much of a choice. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, we can well. keep going with Tommy. Wait, it said A is unlockable. Oh, because I reached 10. Okay, so there's A, and there's Tommy. Let's do Tommy, and then we'll go back to A. So I went to some other time, but I guess I've got to find somebody, talk to them, and then remember what happened. Mighty Kaiju Daimos. They're showing it at the theater right now. Huh. He's talking to himself again. Okay, this is post Shiba. Miwako. Get crepes on our way home? I 
I'd love to, but I've kind of got somewhere to be. Mm, okay. Where's Fuyusaka? Um. Usami, you've been acting. You seem, but you're just fine, right? Hey, you reach out. Oh, there she is. Shall we go home together? Sorry, I have plans. You too? Sorry, Miwa-chan. It's okay. I'll go home by myself. Well, it's about that time. Yeah, I should head out too. See you, Miwa-chan. Oh, and this is the conversation that Juro would always hear. Okay. Miwako doesn't remember a thing, but it's Me. nothing. Miwako, I'm heading out. See you. Okay. So that's all placing me in time. Now she's there. You are meeting up with you. Because you've been... Back at it again with the skirt and wig, huh? What a weirdo. He looks good. I just didn't get a chance to change. As I said, this is a necessary disguise. Oh, are they going back to... Sector 5? Or... Is it a disguise to evade... Old words for someone who can't be Morimura. bothered to make it here on time. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Anyway... You're going to do this for me, right? <sighs> Let's go. Get in position. Because Tomi doesn't really know what she's looking for, right? Oh. Hey, Shu. Is this... What are you doing here? That's what I should be asking you. Well, whatever. Who's that little cutie? <laughs> hear that? You're a cutie, apparently. I'm not complaining. Hey, what are you doing? Stay back! Okay, so this is after Minami showed up while Shu was there. Everybody's... He's stuck in the future and everybody's just joining him. Hey, how's it going? Oh, mind if we stop in? They might be with the black suit guys. BJ says he knows them. Natsuno? It's a party. Usami, you're here too? Why? This little guy led me here. Sekigahara's robot? Oh, I see. The two of them will speed up the process. Hello, Okino. I am like this now, but... You're Miura. Sekigahara told me. What is your goal? To save the girl trapped in orbit. Oh! Oh, didn't know that was one of her goals. Okay, because, yeah, then Ida just sealed her, and sh this is how they help out. I mean, Gucci couldn't surprise me enough as it is. But seriously, you too, Usami? I can't believe you're all time traveling. This is actually where I'm from. Whoa, you came from the future? Does anyone else know about this stuff? Oh, there's Yuki. There's Mir. <laughs> what? That guy? Yeah, he's from the past. So you're here to help number 16 too? My own sentinel is there. Sentinel number 17. So that's how it is. Both 16 and 17 were put into orbit. They went to an unknown man-made artifact in space. We've briefly gotten a hold of it from here. But we don't quite understand what it is. Number 16 would know the answer. Last time we got through to her when I touched something over there. But now... It won't respond. Not even with Kisaragi's biometric ID. She's completely inaccessible now. You, Amiguchi, may know the reason. 
it was Ida. You want to know why? Ida did it himself. He shut down her sentinel. Ida, huh? Yeah. Something about authorization? He must have used his security authorization to issue the command. So that's what happened. You created these sentinels. Perhaps you can clear the authorization. Worth a try. Help me out. But even Okino confessed that he didn't really know what he was doing. He was just copy pasting code till something worked. So why are you here? So this isn't really much of Tomi's story anymore, so much as it is filling in a gap. I can't turn down a cry for help, especially not from the one and only Miyuki Inaba. Oh, never mind. It is Tomi's story, because Miyuki Inaba is another Tomi. Man, this 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 game is a trip. Uh... Miyuki Inaba? You mean that idol? Well, yeah. She talked to me through a TV program. You guys call her number 16, but she's actually another you. Uh... I knew it. That song. It sounded a little different in the style of the 80s, but it's just like when I sang back in middle school. And... Inaba. That's my username. I became an idol? Seriously? Interesting. The preparations are complete. She took that rather well. Kisaragi, as you scan your ID to grant access, the authorization will be reset and the Sentinel will reboot. Go ahead and unlock it. Here goes. No good? The Sentinel started up normally. I... I see. Ida couldn't shut me off. We all came to save you. Sorry it's a little late. Thank you. Access is clear. Don't worry. Universal control doesn't suspect a thing. And we don't have to worry about Ida anymore. information as well. Do you trust me? Well, you're me, right? I won't get anywhere if I can't even trust myself. Well, tell that to A when he's being lied to by a version of himself that the SIU set up for him, but... I was shifted to the orbiting command ship. Command ship? For the second phase of the interstellar development project. It's an artificial satellite that presides over terraforming. Terraforming? The very ground you stand on is proof. The second phase was a resounding success. No way! So the D-forces were used to develop land? Yes. Originally, yes. Okay, old news. Machinery for that purpose. You mean, it's really true? We're not on planet Earth. Where are we? I mean, the, the game hasn't really said anything to make me think that, but I think that would be an interesting additional reveal. Huh? I've seen it with my own eyes. The whole city's less than 30 kilometers long. I thought it was on a spaceship, though. Unbelievable. What about the other countries I've been investigating? Universal control alters the information you receive. It does whatever's necessary to make things appear consistent. Shukun is telling the truth. From here, I can see the entirety of the residential ward system. All of the terminal controls, too. You're able to control the satellite from your sentinel? It does have some limitations, of course. But it is possible. Because... I'm Tomi Kisaragi. Time for a scene of 2188. Uh -huh. Who was Tomi Kisaragi then? Terraforming researcher. 
Oh, okay. Watch this log of hers. February 8th, 2188. Continuing my report from yesterday. I ran the simulation. This was our 25th terraforming attempt. Ran the simulation, huh? We believe the planet is a type 57B. In order to reach a habitable state for humanity, the process took 1,800 years. A bit longer than hoped. No further issues up to this point. Oh, and I almost forgot. At Professor Morimura's suggestion, I updated the system on the command ship. So, I mean, if it was 1,800 years after you know, around 2200, that's possible. It's the year 4000. It's set to monitor the final phase. Surface facilities. Before any harm may come to these facilities. But if there's been a couple loops that are each like 16 years long, then maybe it's like 4036 or something. It will determine whether the final phase... Or no, 4048? As the professor always says, it can't hurt to be safe. Work has been coming along well, but I honestly can't wait to return to the surface. Uh, what was that? A log from Tony Kizaragi in the year 2188. She said some curious things, like redoing the final phase. You heard correctly. There's no turning back. Well? What now? The command ship will fall below the horizon soon. Oh. We'll be disconnected for quite oh. a while. Oh, you don't actually... Okay. Are there any measures we can take? Yes. But I believe there's only one way through this. And what's that? Universal control. It needs to be altered. And the only ones who can do that are all of you. Trust in me, and get into the Sentinels. Okay. So that Kisaragi believes in Project Aegis? Or has a plan besides it? Okay. Then... Megami? Or no. Uh, A had his unlocked. Yeah, let's do A. We'll get off here. But the SIU building is still a little further ahead. That's okay. This thing will stick out if we bring it too close. Yeah, you're right. In that case, I'll lead you the rest of the way. Let's go. Okay. Oh, no time to consider things. Ah, here. Uh, it's anything? Found the or the metal shape. Yuki Takamiya. In order to protect Natsunomi Nami, she had no choice but to cooperate with the SIU. She says she knows who issues orders to the black suits. Yeah, who's doing it now? Apparently, it's Ida. She hears if Iori Fuyusaka. Wouldn't they Despite have been there? My memories. She continues to help me with an open heart. I just... I'm not sure how to reciprocate. I gathered some information from Natsuno's unit, and I came across some interesting details. Apparently, I had accepted a particular job to assassinate Chihiro Morimura. Not you, though. Which is weapon. why... Which is why the... Similarity with how you woke up. So interesting. What happened right before that? To the top of this overpass. We can get a good view of the SIU building from up there. Want to go check it out? Yeah. Which one's the SIU building? See that over there? It's the building next to the police station. Which floor? Top. Got it. I'll take it from here. You're staying behind. Like 
hell I am. All you're gonna do is slow me down. Unless you want to take a straight bullet to the head. But I don't think you do. Hang on a second. Someone's sending out orders to me in the black suits. I'm not sure who, though. Yeah. But the orders are coming from the SIU building. I thought you said it was Ida. He's dead. I'm pretty sure Shinonome shot him. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The others left the room after they shifted back. Or no, just Yuki was told to leave. Uh... Shu was left behind. Come in. Yeah, so who's on the walkie? Is it Goto? Is... I know you're there. I will answer. So you came. You've been using the drone to monitor us, haven't you? I'm nothing if not thorough. Goto is very thorough. It might interest you to know that I have a guest with me. It's... Chihiro? No. He wouldn't care about her... Oh, Ryoko. So he, he cares about Ryoko. Miss Iori Fuyusaka. Oh, and Iori. Now then, why don't you come by so we can talk? And hurry, I'd like to give you a proper welcome. Goto wasn't really... Such a villain, though. This guy's got those super villain vibes. Goto's just a very matter of fact kind of guy. Just watch your ass in there. All right. I can't think of who else it would be. What the? Oh, an AI. Is it? Huh. Drop the gun. Now. Um. Don't do anything rash. One wrong move and I'll blow her head off. Who could this be? That voice. So you're Ida. Oh, Ida had a backup plan. And by a backup plan, I mean an actual backup plan. That explains how you survived being shot. You were an android this whole time. That's not true. I did die. Yeah. I simply copied my memories onto this android, just in case something were to happen to me. You plan to perform another loop as an android? Well, his memories can be put up, put into a new... I mean, <laughs> if he's putting uh, the Kisaragi, who's Miyuki Inaba, into a new... into a cloned... Kisaragi, he can just do the same for himself. Don't be a fool. I've already saved my data to the evacuation area. Yeah. So you're having the android do the dirty work. When it comes to making sure I end up in the next world, there's no one I trust to get the job done more than me. Damn. An outdated transceiver. It has a. Release Fuyusaka. She has nothing to do with this. No. If anything, her existence poses a threat. Is this after everything we've seen with Fuyusaka? Because her story... What was it at the end of her story? There was that as the last scene. All of the a Kun stuff happened after, didn't it? She... Yeah, here. Her stuff was leading up to him being wiped. Oh, there's more information in this event archive. Interesting. 
And that thing on the side... Is that... That's regarding the loops. So this is the... No. No, that's... That's for sectors, never mind. Um... That's not loops, that's sectors. Uh... She's been in Sector 4 for the most part. She... Yeah, she, she hopped on... Motorcycle... They met Morimura. Ah. They parted ways. Oh, no, that's all after. Huh. Yeah, I guess... I guess this is, other than the activation, the most recent thing we've seen for her. Oh no, Yori's, Yori's story wasn't really that interesting. And as it turns out, you have no intention of keeping our promise. It's just her having the dreams and then remembering stuff after hanging out with her friends. You know I lost my memories. How do you expect me to keep a promise I don't remember? Perhaps this will ring a bell. So, how did it all go? Taking care of anyone standing in your way, I hope. Well, you can relax. Ryoko and I did what we needed on our end. We've already backed up your data. Next time when the world resets, you'll still have your memories intact. There's only one thing left for you to do. Obey Tetsuya Ida's orders. Oh, but we can't trust this. Keep up the good work. According to Yuki. <laughs> He's been faking it. Sounds like a real moron. He clearly has no clue what's going on. I see I'm left with no other choice. I'd long anticipated your betrayal. Besides, it's already too late. No matter what you do, this is the end for you. Well... Once we arrive in the next world, I promise to take very good care of you all. Now you can die in this world with nothing to fear. No! Out of my way! <laughs> Relax. You get to die first, Sekigahara. So you don't have to watch. Morimura. She abandoned the idea of starting over again. And she became obsessed with Operation Aegis. Yeah. Don't you want to know why? What a pathetic attempt to cling on to Because the life. compatibility wasn't working? She didn't think... He, he still thinks that these body transfers can happen, but maybe she found... What could you possibly know about Morimura's motives? You don't even remember who you are. I do have some memories. Oh, I remember clearly. I received Miura back in Sector 3. You're the one who gave him to me. And I remember recording the footage you just played, too. <sighs> I made sure to back up all my memories. Now I remember everything. Oh, here it is. Are you okay? No. This is bad. There's nowhere to run. The black suits are monitoring major streets. We're completely surrounded. Okay. Oral NM C0 the bottles made of plastic. I don't He's out of pills. That. That's why I left myself a message. He left himself a message using the message service. Operation 
We can utilize Operation Aegis to protect this world. If we do, we'll be able to survive even if we fail. Though we won't have much of a world left. You look like you're getting worse. Have you taken your pills? I'm all out. I'm all out. They weren't even helping anyway. There's nothing I can do. I don't know how much longer I can deal with this. After I lose my memories, I imagine I'll come to you for help. When that time comes, give this to me. Oh, which is why she had it. What are these numbers? They're for the message service. I use the one from this era. Understood. Is Android Ida going to show up and kill her and frame him? Give him the walkie? Leave the papers on him? If we use the Aegis system, all the terminals will be sealed. Then the city will be cut off from universal control. There won't be any hope of restoring order at that point. That's why everyone disappears. We need to keep at least some of the terminals open. We can't. The enemy will target any open terminals. And then what? We give up on this world and try again next time? I'm afraid that isn't an option either. There won't be a next time. If we go through with Aegis, or... Are you saying that for other reasons? I had a look at the logs from 2188. I've discovered a way to link to the satellite. The satellite? It's not from this world. There's a satellite orbiting the real world. Oh. From it, I learned more about the mechanics of this world. And it turns out we don't get as many tries as we want. Oh. The stability of this area is at its breaking point. We can't fail again. If we do, the entire facility will be reset. And Sector Zero will be lost. Oh. Dang. That's big news. What's Sector Zero? I know I've heard of it before. That's the seed for this arc. Seems like your symptoms are becoming more severe. All right, listen well. As you know, there are five different sectors. However, there exists one more unique sector. It doesn't take up any space, and there's no interior to see. That's Sector Zero. It's an evacuation site that's unaffected by loops. Normally, you can send your data there using the shifter. That's what allows you to continue if the world resets. That's right. Ida did say that was the way to escape to the next world. Yeah? Yes, but this time, Sector Zero will cease to exist as well. We won't be able to loop again. This is our last chance. So without Sector Zero, the world won't be recreated? Nope. It's the data that the world knows how to create itself from. If the Aegis system is activated, yes. We'll still be here. Though we'll be left behind in a world of chaos. <sighs> if what you're saying is true, why keep it all a secret? Because... Why? If what you're saying is why? Because. Seki Gaharakun. Tell me. Why did you erase the logs? Yeah, why are you such a manipulative, controlling bastard? Because I had to. I couldn't let anyone find out about them. There's quite a lot that transpires in 2188. Yeah. The Earth is a very different place. Yeah. Do you want to know what happens? Yeah, there's some sort of incident, there's an infection, there's controversial technology. Hey, there's this assassin job. I've already done my research on you. You're the one who was hired to kill me. In case you couldn't tell, there isn't much left of humanity. Just the ten people in this little colony. Dang. Are they really at that point? It's a bit fruitless to kill for money at this point. 
don't you think? Okay, so... Even... You know, I was thinking maybe if it was still Earth and the Dimos terraform killed everybody, but no, everybody's already been lost at this point. Society has collapsed. I've done my research on you as well. The Ark is all that's left. And I'm very thorough when I research my targets. There's nothing you can hide from me. How menacing of you. Intimidate me all you want, but you're not leaving that room. Professor Chihiro Morimura, in order to raise research funds for Project Ark, you partnered with several questionable organizations. You then sold nanotechnology on the black market. And that, that's the source of the infection on the surface. <sighs> I didn't intend for any of this to happen. Your voice is trembling. Can't say I blame you. No one will believe a word you say. Oh, I don't plan on telling anyone. This is for me. I never want to forget this moment. The moment humanity's traitor stares death in the face. What was that? That was the bomb I planted. Uh, the power generator? Are you insane? We have to repair it right away. We'll lose life support if we don't. When I take a job, I finish it. It can't be. The lock to your room's been disengaged. Just hang tight, Professor. I'll be seeing you soon. Damn, only ten people left alive and he still wants to kill one of them? And it was all my fault. Huh. Sekigaharakun! You're in bad shape. So Chihiro doomed the present humanity. Ryoko messed with the chances of future humanity by messing with uh the terraformers. At this rate you'll Huh? Are you lost, little girl? Oh you haven't met each other? But Goto's been walk bringing her around near what you. What are you doing alone in a place I like thought. this? I guess it makes sense that you don't remember me. I was just a baby when we last saw each other, after all. There's only need for one, Chihiro Morimura. Y you're... And that's me. Oh! She did it. Morimura said quite a bit before she died. If you're going to lie, at least put some effort into it. No matter. I'll simply ask Miss Fuyusaka here what she knows. After I finished you off, of course. Sector, Sector Zero, Zero won't work. That's where you backed up your data, right? A good precaution. But that isn't gonna save you. <sighs> Morimura gained access to the satellite of the real world. That's where she learned about the next reset. And that it's going to be different from any other. Satellite? Of the real world. I still think they might be on the real world. It's not just this world. It's Especially safe. after that bomb, I think maybe they weren't able to go anywhere. If we fail to defeat the kaiju again, the real world will be impacted as well. That includes the facility that sends us back there. When the facility itself is recreated, there won't be a Sector Zero anymore. <sighs> Whether we go with Operation Aegis or not, there won't be a next time. And no one will be able to loop again. Satellite. Tony, is this what you meant? It can't be. But... Seki... Go <sighs> Are you okay? Hey. Are you alright? You're okay. Fuyusaka. Aikun, is it over? My past is. But as for our future, for our survival, this is only the beginning. Do you think, um, maybe this is the beginning of something else, too? <laughs> that was not the time, Yori. <laughs>
kind of weird that he falls in love, that the clone of the assassin falls in love with the clone of the person he was killing. But you're gonna hop in a first generation. That bastard. He's gathered quite a few participants for his game. That enhanced first gen model. For his game, 426. It must be Sentinel number 11. Guess I'll give it a shot. Final battle. Okay. That makes one, two, three, four. Whoops, uh, I stopped counting. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them cleared? That would mean. Uh, four left. One, two, three, four. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all the time I have for today. So let's save it. And we'll get to what's left of it. Getting into the end game now. Wrapping up the storylines, but then we've still got quite a bit of battling ahead, too. But I think we can make it through. I hope you're still enjoying it. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bon voyage!